Good morning, ma. Good morning, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma. Is Amaka in? I want to have a word with her. Come in and have a seat. Let me get you something to eat. Don't bother, ma. I'm in a haste. I just want to have a word with her and leave. Okay, let me call her for you. Amaka? Yes, mama. Someone is waiting for you. Amaka, please, don't walk out on me. I have told you to stop disturbing me, but you will not listen. I have told you I am not interested, but you won't leave me alone. Please, Amaka, I beg you to consider me. I really love you. I can't get you off my head. <laughs> you better do, because the earlier you get your head off me, the better for you. Amaka, is there anything I can do to make you change your mind? No. Now get out of my house. Are you seriously telling me to get out? Yes. Leave my house now. Okay, I will leave for now. But that doesn't mean I've given up on you. Whatever. Just go. Amaka, I'm so disappointed in you. What kind of manner did you just put up now? Why will you send a young man away in such brassful and disrespectful manner? Mama, I have been telling you to leave me alone gently, but he won't listen, so I decided to tell him harshly. Maybe he will understand better. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? When did you become this saucy? Mama, I don't understand you. I know the reason you are not supporting me is because you want me to marry Obina, which I won't. I repeat. I won't. Shut up. I won't tolerate your talking to me anyhow. I'm your mother and you will wash your language with me. I have been waiting for this man. He promised that he will be back to take me to the city within a year. But this is exactly two years now. All my mates are already married. Should I accept Obina's proposal and move on with my life? Is Chidima my friend, right? What if Danny House found another beautiful girl in the city and married her? No, he can't. He can't do that to me. He loves me so much and will not break my heart in such manner. But why has he not called me for the past months now? <sighs> I've been trying to reach him all to no avail. God, please, I need your guidance. Hello. Hello, Amaka. It's me, Daniel. Daniel, is this really you? Baby, why are you sounding like this? Baby, why are you sounding like you're not happy to hear from me? Do you expect me to be happy after shutting me out for the past six months? Oh, you are thinking that you will just show up from the blues and I'll be all happy and throw myself at you, right? Baby, calm down. Let me explain. Don't tell me to calm down. What explanation can you possibly have for shutting me out like that? My love. A lot has been going on in this city. Things has not been easy, but I'm back on my feet, and I'm doing great now. Concerning not calling you, my phone got stolen, and I lost my contacts, including yours. Chidema! Amaka, this one you are shouting my name like this. Hope all is well. My sister, all is well, oh. in fact, more than well. You are keeping me in suspense. Tell me what happened. Daniel just called me and he's coming to take me with him to the city next week. What? Daniel called you? When? Just now. I couldn't believe in myself. But it's true. He's going to introduce me to his parents and we'll be getting married afterwards. Wow, this is good news. Yes, yeah, so... I'm so happy for you. Have you told your mom? No. She's not yet back from the market. I will tell her once she's back. So does that mean Obina doesn't stand a chance? 
please i don't want to hear his name i am talking of my daniel and you are mentioning obina who the hell is obina obina is a rich guy and his father is the richest man in this village and besides you don't know how daniel is doing in the city he is doing well he won't come to take me if he's not doing well so you'll be leaving us in the village yes yeah, so i'm going to miss you you are my bestie so we'll definitely be keeping in touch and i'll also be visiting I have to go now and put the house in order before my mother returns from the market. Okay, bye dear. Is that Daniel? Yes, mama. Talking about Daniel, is he coming to marry you or is he just coming to take you with him to the city? Both. You better be wise. I will advise you don't follow him anywhere until he pays your bride price and marries you properly. If not, you better leave him and go for a serious person. Mama, this is about Marvin Obina, right? My child, I'm your mother and I cannot deceive you. I know you and Daniel love each other, but Daniel doesn't seem like he's ready to settle down anytime soon. I would rather you go for someone who is serious to avoid wasting your time. Amaka, you're a very beautiful girl and you've turned down all the good men coming for your hand in marriage. Because of this, Daniel, I don't want it to be in vain, no. I have heard all you have to say, Mama. I know and trust Daniel to do the right thing. If you say so. I know so, Mama. I understand you're wanting me to marry Obina and your reasons. And I can't say I don't like him. I do. He's a good man and will make a good husband. But I'm committed to another man and I really love that man. It's well, my child. If Daniel is serious and will do the right thing, then I give you my blessing. Thanks, Mama. You are the best. I would better go to bed now. I'm feeling sleepy and weak. I'm not going to bed now. I'll join you later. Good night. Good night, my child. Daniel! My queen. Is this really you? Yes, love. I'm back. I can't believe you are finally here. Believe it, baby. You have changed a lot. Changed? In what aspect? Your looks. You are more handsome than ever. And you are more beautiful. Wow. We have got a lot of catching up to do. Of course we do. What's of mama? She's at the market. You know what? Go inside. Change. Then come out. Let's go to a restaurant. Relax and talk. Where are you coming from by this time? I've been calling your number and it's switched off. I'm really sorry, Mama. I would have called, but my phone was switched off due to low battery. I'm sorry, Danny came today and we went to a restaurant to catch up. What? Danny is back? Yes, Mama. Really? Yes, Mama. He'll come see you tomorrow. He even has a car. Did you just say a car? Yes, so... Mom, come and sit down and give me details, Biko. My son, you are welcome. How is everything? Everything is fine, ma. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks a lot for the gifts. I really appreciate. Don't mention, ma. Amaka told me that you want to introduce her to your parents today. Yes, ma. As soon as we are done here, she will follow me to see my parents. I have told them about her already and they are yearning to meet her. That's good. So if I may ask you, what are your plans for my daughter? Do you want to marry her before you take her to the city with you? Um, I will introduce her to my parents first. Then after that, we'll go to the city together and plan our wedding. Plan your wedding from there? Yes, ma. Why can't you plan the wedding from here? At least, do the basic thing first. Then we'll know she's officially your wife before you take her with you. Mama, will you let me talk? You know the right thing. Do the right thing. Of course, ma. I'll do the right thing. I'll be going now. I'm already running late. I have to be at the market now. Okay, ma. I love your daughter so much. And I'll do anything I can to make her happy. I'll take my leave. Bye. So... Are you ready? So we can go see my parents. I am always ready. As far as it concerns you. So what are we waiting for? Let's be on our way.
Good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Mwam, you are highly welcome. You are welcome, dear. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. My son has told us a lot about you. And he was right about you. You are very beautiful. My daughter, make yourself at home while I go prepare something for you. Let me help you, ma. I should come with you. No, please sit down. You are my guest. And besides, you are just coming to my house for the first time. I really want to help you out, but if you insist. I insist. Please sit down and let me serve you. Mama, what's taking you so long to finish? My son, I'm almost through. What about our guest? She's fine. Papa has staged her with his questions. So, Mama, how do you see her? Do you like her? Of course. I love her. She's a well-trained girl with manners and she's really beautiful. I give you my blessing, son. Go ahead and marry her. She will make a very good wife. Thank you, Mama. I'm almost through here. Just give me a minute, okay? It's okay. Let me go meet her before Papa wears her off with his questions. Please do. You are going nowhere. Oh, see, Mama, I'm going, and that's it. It's like you're sick of stay. You want to pack your things and start living in his house, as in what? As his wife to be. Hear yourself. Can you just listen to yourself? Mama, why can't you just understand that I love Daniel and I want to be with him? Love kill you there. Did you hear me? I say love kill you there. Nonsense. All I know is that I'm going with him. Listen to me, young lady. I know I might not be able to stop you from going, but let me tell you something. If you dare follow Daniel, count me out. Anything that happens to you, you will bear the consequence of your action alone because I warned you. So be it, Mama. So be it. It's not a game. It's a So, this is my house. Is this really your house? Of course, it's our house. It's beautiful. I didn't imagine something like this. It's ours. Thanks for coming with me. Promise me that I will not regret it. I promise I will take good care of you just as I promised your mother. You are just the best. I love you so much. I love you more. Now, first things first. You must be really tired from the long journey and need to rest now. Oh, yes. I'm so tired and I really need that rest. Let me show you our room. This is where we'll be sleeping. So I want you to rest. Once you are done resting, I would like you to prepare dinner. A friend of mine will be coming over here to see you. Aren't you resting too? No, I need to attend to some urgent business. Just make yourself at home and relax. I'll be back in a jiffy. Alright, love. It's not a game. It's a My baby is back. You are looking more beautiful and radiant this night. Hope you've rested enough. Yes, dinner is ready. Oh my, this one now wife material, infinity yards. Amaka, this is MD, my friend. MD meets Amaka, my wife to be. Oh my, you too fine. Which water Daniel bring you from? MD, please don't start now. Daniel, I suspect you. Where did you bring this mommy water from? Please. 
can we all go to the dining and eat before the food gets cold? Make I go taste our new wife food. Now me go tell you how many years this wife material be. Excuse me, you shouldn't be doing that. Guy, behave yourself now. Not true, no mind me. I they always forget, say I be the king. I they forget and anytime I forget, I they always behave like servant. But now I have remembered that I am the king. What the hell is wrong with your friend? Don't mind him. He's like that sometimes. But he's a really nice person and fun to be with. Just ignore his silliness. What are you two gossiping about? <laughs> oh my god, you're very funny. It's not easy to find a funny king and that's why my followers love me. I see. Wow, this food is delicious. Daniel, this your wife is a correct wife material, infinity years to be precise. I told you she's the best. She even cooks better than Aneta. That's your Aneta that don't know how to cook. It's either she puts too much salt or the food is half cooked or something. But this one is better than Aneta. Thank God you brought this one, Jare. What? Baby, don't mind him. He's just joking. I'm not joking, no. This one is far better than Anita. For crying out loud, who the hell is Anita? Anita is, um... Why are you leaving now? Aren't you eating again? Don't you want to know who Anita is? Come and sit down. Let me tell you who Anita is. What's wrong with you? Why don't you use your senses at times? My sense? How? What did I do now? Why did you bring up Anita here? Now see what you've caused. I don't know what I talk or do now. That's your problem. You don't always know what you did or when you did them. Sometimes I wonder if your senses are complete. How can you say that your king sense no they complete? Do you think I will be king if my sense aren't complete? Will you spare me that crap? What nonsense? Are you living too? Now wow. All of you just left all this food for the king. Okay now. Nah. Anyways, that's why I am a king. To eat food like this. I am going to relax and eat this food like a king that I am. Who the hell is Anita? Does Daniel have another girl apart from me? Hey, God. Hope I am not made a mistake by coming here. Which one is Anita that I am hearing again? I have to find out. He has to explain to me who she is. I will sit here and wait for him. He will come and meet me here. I won't take rubbish from him at all. Baby, calm down. Don't baby me. Who is Anita? There is no Anita. She was just a fling I had in the past. She means nothing to me. <laughs> just a fling, right? Yes, I swear by anything. I met her at a party some months ago. It didn't even last up to a month. And besides, she was the one forcing herself on me. So while I was busy waiting and worrying over you in the village, you were busy having flings, right? No, it was only Anita. And that was when I lost contact with you. Besides, like I said, she was the one forcing herself on me. The thing didn't last up to a month before I called it a quit with her. It was as if she didn't even exist. You're my one and only. And I don't have or love another. You're my queen. The only woman that makes my heart beat. I love you. Are you sure? I want you to trust and believe me. And I promise you that I won't break your trust. I trust you. That's my babe. I don't know what is wrong with children of this generation. They don't listen to advice and counsel anymore. They just want to do it their own way. They don't even sit down to think and weigh their actions. So my daughter Amaka still left to live with this man after all my advice and warning. Too bad. I wish her father was alive. This wouldn't have happened. God, please touch her out wherever she is. Let her come back to her senses and realize the mistake she's going into. God, please help me and my child. Hello, babe. What's up? I'm fine. 
You've forgotten your bestie, right? How can I forget you? I can't. Even if I forget others, definitely not you. So why haven't you called me for about a week now? Don't mind me. Anyways, I had it in mind to call you before you did. How is everything over there? Everything is fine. Just as you left it. You're the one enjoying now. Please don't flatter me. I'm not flattering you. Besides, why should I? That reminds me. What about Daniel? He's fine. He's at his place of work now. That's good to hear. What about the wedding? You've stayed in his house for about three months now. Haven't you guys planned enough? My sister, he's not even saying anything about marriage now. What do you mean by he's not saying anything about marriage? So why are you now there? I have tried to talk to him about it, but he would always wave it aside, saying that there's enough time to talk about it later. You better talk to him by fire by force. Even if it's to come and pay your bride price, let's know that he's legally your husband. You can't be performing wife duties for him when he has not even married you. It's just as if he's using you. You are right, though. Don't worry. I'll make sure we we'll talk about it today when he comes back. Daniel loves me and I know he will marry me. We just have to make our time to talk about our wedding preparation and fix the date. Please make sure you guys do what's necessary, okay? Of course. So, just me. How is Daniel treating you? He treats me like a queen. We are always going on shopping spree. I am even tired of clothes, Seth. He gives and provides everything I need, even without asking. Really? Babe, remember me? Of course. I even got some things for you. I'll give you once I come to the village. That's my babe. I've really missed you. I can't wait to see you. I have to go now. We'll talk later. I want to go check my food before it gets burnt. Okay, dear. I love you. Bye. I really need to talk to Daniel concerning this marriage issue. I don't know why he keeps putting off the topic. I have been living with him for the past three months now and he keeps putting off the topic. I cannot be staying with him and performing wifely duties when he has not married me. This is rubbish. We must talk about it today, whether he likes it or not. How is my baby doing? I am not fine. What's the matter? It's about the marriage issue. Baby, I'm so tired right now. Let's talk about it later. What I need to do right now is take a shower, eat and sleep. No, we'll talk about it now. You keep putting it off. If you know that you don't want to marry me, just let me know so that I can live in peace. Is this the way you are supposed to welcome me after the day stress? We'll talk about this some other time. You are not going anywhere till you tell me when exactly you are going to marry me. This should be the first time you try such nonsense with me. Daniel, you slapped me. So you have the courts to hit and push me in this manner. I don't blame you. I blame myself for coming here to live with you. I am leaving your house right now. Nonsense. I'm leaving your house for you in peace. My love, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You better stand up because nothing you say or do will make me change my mind. I am leaving. Baby, please don't leave me. I love you so much and I cannot imagine myself without you. If you leave me, I will just die. <laughs> then get ready to die because I am definitely leaving you. I know I was wrong to hit you and I don't deserve your forgiveness. I did it out of anger and I wasn't thinking straight at that moment. I promise you that it won't happen again. Please, just forgive me this one time. And how am I sure that you won't hit me again? If you can hit me now, you can definitely hit me again. I won't. When next I try it, just leave me. I will never hit you again, I promise. I don't believe you. And I can't be living in the same house with a woman bitter. I am sorry, but I really have to leave. Baby, please don't do this to me. I will do anything you ask. Please just stay with me. I love you so much. I can't imagine myself without you. You said you would do anything I ask. Yes, I will do anything you ask. When will you marry me? When do you want it to be? Next month. Consider it done. And the next time you hit me again, I will leave. I won't try it again, I promise. It's okay. I won't leave. Just stand up. Thank you so much, my queen. It's not a game. It's a my love. I don't like the way I'm staying at home every day doing nothing. I would really love to be doing something with my life. Something like what? I would love to learn a skill or something. That's good. So what do you have in mind? I want to learn tailoring. I would like to be a fashion designer. That's a good idea. 
Instead of just staying at home doing nothing, it's better you learn a skill. In fact, I know a good fashion house close to where MD works. I will tell MD to take you there tomorrow morning so that you can start immediately. Really? You want me to start tomorrow? Of course. You pay and start tomorrow. You're such a darling. Thank you very much. Anything for my baby girl. I would have loved to take you there myself, but that place is really far from my workplace. And I need to be at work as early as possible tomorrow. So MD will help me with that. I will call him this night and beg him to help me take you there tomorrow. MD? That's your dramatic friend. Yes, MD can be very dramatic. But don't worry, I will call him and warn him to behave himself. There will be no drama tomorrow. I hope so. It's not a game. It's a rich game. Babe, calm down. Just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, don't just waste my time. I'll be right here waiting for you. I will be back in a jiffy. Hello, fine girl. I really like you. And I want us to run some package. What is wrong with you, Seth? I am talking to you and you are doing anyhow. Do you know who is talking to you? See this woman where I want help, Seth. She won't come the form soldier for me. Do you know who is talking to you? I am MD himself. So don't even try any nonsense with me before I change it for you. Yeah, yeah. You are in the hospital, man of war. You couldn't even stand when the real war came. See where you ended up. So that woman did this to me. And she would have done worse if I and some other people hadn't gone to beg on your behalf. A o me, a o m d, beaten up by a male woman. Aye. Did you just call her a male woman? Didn't I tell you that she was a soldier and you still went to look for her trouble? <laughs> Nonsense. But I didn't do anything wrong now. I just approached her. So that we would run some package. It didn't have to end in all of this. This is a Nigerian soldier and by now you should know the way they behave. But you just wanted to show yourself as usual and you see where it landed you. Anyways, just rest. The doctor says he will discharge you soon. I'll call Daniel so that he can drive you home because I don't think you'll be able to move properly in this your condition. Thanks a lot for everything dear. I owe you one. Of course, you do. Guy, I know they like this kind of thing. Not be my fault. Tell me, how is it my fault that I saw an asset and decided to grab it? You are such a clown. Didn't you see that she was a soldier? And didn't she want you at first to leave her? I still don't know how it was my fault. Everyone just keeps blaming me. Approaching the soldier woman and no one blames her for hitting me. Is she not a human being? Or is it because she is wearing uniform? She automatically becomes a god and therefore not approachable. I think he's right. The woman was wrong to hit him like that. If she doesn't want to talk to him, she should have simply told him or walked out. I think these people abuse their uniform, venting their anger on innocent civilians. This is absolutely wrong. Thank you so much. You see why I say you are a wonderful wife material. You just like being in one drama or the other. Whatever. My own anger in today's drama was that I missed the training I was supposed to start today. Don't mind my friend. I will take you there myself tomorrow. Really? Thanks a lot. If I had known, I would have taken you there myself today. But it's okay. I will still take you tomorrow morning. Thanks love. I'm Richard. What's your name? My name is Amaka. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful girl like you. You are so beautiful, I must confess. Thanks. So what do you do, Amaka? Right now, I'm learning fashion designing. I'm just returning from today's training. Wow, that's good. I'm a business tycoon. I'm into importing and exporting. That's a good business. Yeah. So, Amaka, you intrigue me and I would really like to know you better. I must warn you, I'm in a relationship. Really? Yes. I live with my fiancé. I see, but you guys are not yet married. Yes, but we'll soon. It's okay. I just want to be your friend. 
No hard feelings. Okay. Okay, thanks. So it's bye for now. Yes. Thanks for the ride. Good evening, love. Sorry I came back a bit late. Our boss gave us extra work today. Who is he? Excuse me. Will you spare the pretense? I don't understand what you're talking about. Who was the guy that dropped you now? I saw him. Oh, it's Richard. I don't really know him. Just a random guy who offered me a lift. So it has gotten to that extent that you hop into men cars, right? Why are you becoming unnecessarily jealous? It's just a ride, nothing more. Get over it. Amaka, are you talking to me like that? So it has also gotten to the extent you talk to me anyhow. Is it because I allowed you to be going out? You are making a mountain out of a molehill. Really? Now listen to me and listen good. This should be the first and the last time you will ever accept a ride from any man. Next time this repeats itself, I will stop you from going to that fashion house, whatever you call it. Hello, Mama, how are you doing? I'm fine. Did you receive the money I sent you this morning? Yes, thank Daniel for me. But that's not why I called. Mama, hope all is alright. Everything is alright. It's about you. Me? What about me? You told me that Daniel will be coming this month to pay your bride price and that your traditional marriage you owe this month. I have not seen any sign till now. What is going on? <sighs> Mama, calm down. Daniel is having some issues in his business right now, so we can't afford to get married now till the end of this year. What? Yes, Mama. Amaka, hope you are not mad. So you will live with a man who is not yet to your husband for a whole year. What if he doesn't marry you in the end? Mama, it can't happen. Daniel loves me very much and he will definitely marry me. He's just having some issues in his business and can't afford marriage expenses for now. Then pack your things and come back home. When he's ready to marry you, he will come down here and do the right thing. Mama, I can't come back to the village and start suffering. I love where I am. Mama, just calm down. Daniel will definitely marry me. I don't know why you are in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I'm only telling you what is best for you as my daughter. Mama, you won't understand. You know what? Let's talk about this some other time. I'm busy right now. So you want to hang up the call on me, right? Of course not. I'm just kind of busy right now. We'll talk about this later. Bye. My love, I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you. It's okay. I understand your jealousy. Besides, I'm no longer angry. I love you so much, and I can't bear to see you with another man. Jealous lover boy. Of course I am. That reminds me, Mama just called me today. She's really disturbing me concerning the marriage issue. Did you tell her that I will be getting married by the end of this year? Yes, but she doesn't seem to be happy about it. I understand that she's not happy about it, but baby, I promise you that by the end of this year, we will get married. I know. Just promise me that you will not disappoint me in the end. I promise. I was up with you and your wife, Materia. We are fine. She's doing great. So when are you finally going to tie the knot? I'm not ready anytime soon. What do you mean by you are not ready? This is almost a year now since you brought this girl to this city claiming to marry her. What exactly is your problem? I mean, what is the color of your problem? Nothing. I'm not just ready to settle down and be a family man for now. What? So why then did you bring her here? Do you even love this girl as you claim? Don't get me wrong. I love Amaka very much. Like very very much. But I don't just want to settle down now. Yeah, you shouldn't have brought her here. I really love her so much. And I don't want any man to take her away from me. That's why I brought her to stay with me till I'm ready to finally settle down. So when will you be ready? By the end of next year. What? So she will stay with you for complete two years before you finally settle down with her? Kind of. Guy, you better be honest with this girl. What are you telling her to make her stay? I told her to hold on that my business is facing some challenges and I can't combine it with marriage. Guy, you know try you. Very soon thought I will fire you. Hello, who am I speaking with? Hello, this is Richard speaking. Oh, Richard, how are you doing? I'm good, you? I'm great. Amaka, please, I want us to meet up tomorrow. I really want to talk to you. 
What is it about? When we see, I'll tell you, okay? Okay, so where do we see? Pick any three of your choice and I'll be there. Okay, I'll text you the address of where we will see. I have to go now. Bye. So, what is it you wanted to see me about? The thing is, ever since the first day I met you, I have not been able to get my mind off you. I really, really like you. Hmm. Didn't I tell you the other time that I was in a relationship? Yes, but you told me that you've been living with your fiancé for some time now. You guys are not yet married. If you were married, I would not have bothered. But you are not, and that means I still stand a chance. No, you don't. Amaka, I'm sorry if I said anything that hurts you, but the truth is that I really like you and even want to marry you. I'm sorry, but I'm taken and I can't leave my mouth for anyone else. Think about it. From my investigation about you and your fiancé, I have discovered that he has promised to marry you for a long time, brought you to the city and kept you in his house for about a year now without marrying you. If you accept me now, I won't do that to a pretty angel like you. How is that anyone's business? If my fiancé has married me, read my lips. I am not going to leave my mouth for anybody, not even you. And don't you ever try to call me again. Baby, your breakfast is ready. I said your food is ready. I'm not eating. Baby, this attitude of yours is childish. If I have done something wrong, why don't you just tell me? I don't feel like talking to you. Now if you excuse me, I'm, I have somewhere to be. Hello? It's Richard. How are you doing, dear? I have told you not to call this number again. I am not and can never be interested, so quit disturbing me. Babe, calm down. No need to raise your voice. Don't tell me to calm down. Just stop. If you know what's good for you, you better stay away from my woman. What's wrong with you, man? She's not yet your woman, so stop talking shit. You're lucky she hasn't accepted my proposal. I would have taken her from you and married her before your very eyes. You must be out of your senses. The next time I catch you around my girl or even stalking and calling her phone again, I will so deal with you mercilessly. So this is the guy you've been messing around with. And is this the reason for your attitude all this while? Will you shut your mouth? Was not the same guy who dropped you off the other day? And you also went out with him yesterday? If you were suspecting something, why didn't you just ask me? There's absolutely nothing going on between me and this guy. He's just the random guy I met and he has been disturbing me for a relationship. But I keep telling him to let me be. The truth is that I don't even care about your explanation. You will stop going to that fashion house or wherever you call it. You will be staying at home and take good care of the house. That's not even possible. You can't restrict my going out. You will be staying at home from now and that's final. And where do you think you are going? Didn't I tell you that you will no longer be going anywhere? And why is that? Because I want it that way. It's like you're going out and started to make you meet a lot of new guys. And I don't want anyone to come snatch you away. So what happens to trust? I trust you, but I don't want to take chances. You are not going there. Period. You are not serious. I am going out whether you like it or not. 
If you step out of this door, consider our relationship over. What kind of nonsense is this? Why does this man keep acting this way? I don't understand the jealousy and insecurities. So I'll just be sitting here at home all day without doing anything reasonable. What kind of man and relationship is this, sir? You know that I already love him so much. I would have left him. But I can't just leave. God, help me. Are you expecting anybody? No. Go check who is it. It might be the gate man. See this girl? Don't you have manners? Why are you standing and staring at me like that instead of helping me with my luggage? I am sorry, Mama. I was just surprised to see you. Because you didn't call to tell us that you were coming. So now, I need permission to come to my son's house, right? No, ma. That's not what I meant. So what do you mean? Hope you have not been poisoning my son's mind against me. Mama, you are welcome. Daniel is inside. Come in. I'll take your bags to your room. Daniel, my son. How are you doing? Mama. What are you doing here? What do you mean by what am I doing here? I mean, you didn't even call to tell me that you were coming. I wanted to pay my son a surprise visit. Or is it bad that I came to visit you? There is nothing wrong in you visiting me. Just that you should have called me so that at least I can prepare adequately for your coming. What if you came only to find out I have traveled or something? But you didn't travel and I'm your mother. You don't need any special preparation for me. Anyways, you are welcome. How is Papa? He's fine. So we left the old man alone in the village. Yes, so let me rest from your father's wahala. I'll report you to him. So you are saying he has wahala, right? Mama, what would you like me to cook for you? What is wrong with you? Can't you see that I'm in a conversation with my son? Or have you lost your manner simply because you are now living in the city? Mama, you don't have to talk to her like that. She was only asking you a simple question. I'm sorry, ma. I didn't mean to disturb you. Mama, I don't like the way you talked to her. Whatever. I don't even have strength for any of you now. I'm very tired. All I want to do now is take a shower, eat, then rest. We'll talk later. It's not a game. Is this the type of food she has been feeding you with? How is the food? The food is too spicy and it's half cooked. The food is very okay to me. I don't see any problem with this food. Amaka cooks very well. She has no problem when it comes to cooking. What do you know about cooking? I'm telling you facts and you are saying what you don't know. Mama, even if the food is too spicy, I like it like that. All I know is that for the time being here, I'll be the one cooking for you. At least you'll be eating something reasonable while I'm here. Daniel, I'll be in my room. I'm done eating. Why? You barely touch your food. Or is it because of what Mama is saying? No, I'm not just hungry anymore. I'll be in my own room. Baby, come on. Leave her. Is it by force to eat? She knows she cooked rubbish. That's why she couldn't eat it. She let us here to eat the rubbish. Mama, it's okay. You've been tackling this girl since you came here. Now she has gone to bed without eating. I don't like this. Where are you going to? To pacify my wife, of course. You've made her angry. <laughs> Rubbish. She's not yet your wife. Better get it into your skull. You haven't married her, so you better quit calling her your wife. It's not a game. It's a Amaka, where are you going? I want to go clear up the dining room. Come here first. Come and sit beside me. Okay, ma. I want to ask you something very important. 
and I want you to answer me truthfully. I'll be truthful, ma. You have been staying here with my son for exactly one year now, and throughout your stay here, have you gotten pregnant for him? I believe I just asked you a simple question. But mama... Yes or no? No. Good. I want you to go and call my son for me. Tell him that his mom is calling him and wants to speak to him about an important issue. Mama, is there any problem? Just do as I say and stop asking questions. Okay, ma. It's not a game. It's a Mama, you called me. Yes, I did. I want to talk to you about something very important. What is the matter? Hope everything is alright in the village. It's about Amaka. What about her? I don't think you can marry that girl. What? I don't think I will give you my consent to marry that girl. Why the sudden change? Did I introduce her to you at the village? You said you liked her and that she's well trained and all that. So what changed now? That's what I want to explain to you now. This girl has been living with you for the past one year now and there has been no sign of pregnancy. What if you marry her and it continues like that? What will you do? And besides, I don't think she is well trained anymore because what kind of girl would leave her house and come live with a man for a whole year when he has not paid her bride price? Mama, I don't like this so. Amaka is a good girl and I love her. I haven't thought about pregnancy because we are not married yet. When we get married, she will definitely get pregnant. I have told you my own. You can't marry that girl. Mama, it's my life and I will marry whoever I want. You can't dictate whom I will marry. I know it's your life and you have the right to marry whoever you choose. But I want you to bear it at the back of your mind that you are the only son and child and you also have responsibilities. If you must marry her, then she must get pregnant. Mama, don't worry. She will get pregnant. Since it's pregnancy you want, she will definitely get pregnant so that you can let us have peace. That's all I ask for. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No, you can go and sleep now. What did Mama tell you? Don't mind her. She's talking about getting pregnant. Does it mean that she will not let us get married? That's the same thing she was asking me too. I am scared. What if she says that we can't get married? What if she doesn't give us her blessings? Calm down. No need to be all worried. We are definitely getting married. She can't stop us from getting married. I love you and I am definitely getting married to you. Mama is just saying that she wants you to get pregnant and give her a grandchild before we get married. What if I don't get pregnant before we get married? Nothing changes. I will still marry you because I love you. Don't mind my mom. You know parents and their wahala. Promise me that no matter what, you will marry me. I promise you that I will never leave you. Now, how about we try and make some babies? Yeah, we should. Where's the food I kept here just now? I removed it. Why? My son, sit down. I'm preparing your favorite breakfast, opa and pap. Just sit down and wait. It will soon be ready. Now that I'm here, I want you to be eating solid food. Not that thing that Amaka is feeding you with, all in the name of food. Mama, I don't like all this. I don't have all the time in the world. I need to be at work now. Just give me a little time. The food will soon be ready. Why did you remove the food that Maka has already made? You know what? Bring it by. Let me eat and be going. I've poured it away. You can't be eating that rubbish. What? What? You know what? I'm no longer eating anything. I'll be on my way now. My son, just give me a few minutes. The food will be ready soon. You can't be going to work on an empty stomach. You should have thought about that before throwing the food that Maka prepared. I'm leaving. Mama, see what you've cost now. You better shut up your dirty mouth, dear. What have I cost? 
If you had prepared something reasonable, I wouldn't have any need to throw away that nonsense you call food. What kind of problem is this for goodness sake? What have I done to this woman that made her change her attitude towards me all of a sudden? I just hope she doesn't poison Daniel's mind towards marrying me. God, please touch this woman's heart. Please make her like me again because I don't know what I have done to deserve this. And most especially, make me pregnant. God, please. Look, look at her. Performing white duties when she's not yet a wife. There is no difference between you and a prostitute. Mama, I have had it up to here with you. What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment from you? You have refused to get pregnant and Dalen has not married you yet. So what are you doing here? He is just using you. The earlier you realize that and leave, the better for you. Dalen and I love each other and we will soon get married and not even you can stop it. <laughs> listen to yourself. Can you just listen to yourself? Better wake up and face the reality that you won't marry my son, you cheap thing. You know what? I don't have to stay here and take your insults. Mama, what was that for now? This is my son's house and I can do whatever I want to do. This is not your husband's house, so you don't have a say here. Are you a witch or something? What the hell is wrong with you? Did you just call me a witch? Did I just hear you call me a witch? If you are not a witch, then stop acting like one. You will not marry my son. Mark my words. You won't marry my son. You opened that your mouth and called me a witch. My son must hear this. I will sit down here and wait for him to come back. You will see what he will do once he hears that you call his precious mother a witch. Mama, what's the problem? Can you believe that the girl you call your wife insulted me and called me a witch, even slapped me? What? Yes, she had the effort to raise her hand and slapped me. Mama, are you telling me the truth? Did Amaka really slap you? My son, have I ever lied to you? So you will believe a stranger over your mother? No, Mama, I believe you. Just that I know you don't like Amaka. And I don't know if this is one of your schemes to make me and Amaka fight. Why would I fabricate such a thing? Do I look like a child to you? So you don't even believe me? God, what has this girl done to my son? It's okay, don't worry. Let me go and confront Amaka. Just sit down here, I'll be right back. <laughs> I didn't even know you are back already. How was work today? Work was fine. Did you insult and slap my mother? Is that what she told you? Just answer the question. Did you slap her? No, I did not. Why would I do such a thing? 
Why would I hit your mom? You know your mom doesn't like me and has been quarreling with me since she came here. But I still respect her. I can't insult your mother not to talk of hitting her. You should know me better than that. I know you can't do such a thing. But I just wanted to ask to fulfill your righteousness so that mama can calm down a bit. That your mom can be very dramatic. When is she leaving? I don't know. I can't force her to leave. She'll leave when she wants to or when her husband calls her to come back. She won't be here for long, so just relax. Let's go have dinner. You look not only tired, but also hungry. Yeah, but going out of this room would mean facing Mama, and I don't think I have strength to do so now. Are you scared of facing her? Of course not. I know exactly how to handle her. Then let's go. My son, I have to leave for the village tomorrow morning. It's urgent. What's the matter? Why the rush? Hope all is well. I just received a call from the village that your father is ill. I have to go back and attend to him. Papa is ill? When did it start? It started this morning. Just a slight fever. But I still need to go and take care of him because he needs me now. Sure. Hope is just a fever and nothing more. It's nothing serious. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be leaving tomorrow. I need to go pack my bags and get ready. Okay, I'll drop you off at the motor park tomorrow morning. Alright, let me go and prepare. Baby, I just see all your mom packing her bags. Is she leaving? Yeah, she's going back to the village tomorrow. Really? What made her leave? My dad is not feeling too well, so she wants to go attend to him. Your dad? Hope it's nothing serious. It's nothing serious, just a slight fever. Hey, yeah, but I'm happy she's leaving. Same here. I know she's my mom, but I want her to leave so that we can both have our privacy and there can also be sanity in this house. <laughs> Let her hear you say that. This roof will fall down if she hears that. My son, I'm ready. Let me help you take your bags to the car. Car! Leave my bags for me. Don't touch it with that your stinking hands. My son will carry my bags for me. Mama, stop it. Let her help you with the bags. She will not help me. It's okay, love. Help her with the bags. <laughs> See her calling my son her love. Better go and find your love. My son is definitely not your love. Leave my son alone. If you won't get pregnant, then leave him alone. Mama, stop it. I've had enough of this rubbish. You're about to travel and you're still quarreling. Do you need to do this every single time you get the chance? My love, I'll be in the kitchen. Your breakfast will be ready once you are back. Mama, I don't like this. I don't like the way you make this girl sad and frustrated every time you get the chance. It's not fair at all. I don't have all the time. What do you know? Let's go, but please just stop picking on my woman. Thank God this woman is finally gone. Now I can have peace in this house. But this woman said some things that really hurt. She's right about me not having a place in this house. Because I am not yet his wife. <sighs> I really need to disturb Daniel concerning this marriage issue. This is exactly a year now and he's still saying next year. I can't wait till next year. I really have to disturb him. He needs to do something. I can't keep staying here like some piece of furniture. If he loves me, then let him marry me.
You are here? No, it's my spirit. I just asked a simple question now. You are seeing me here and you are still asking me if I am here. That's a very silly and unnecessary question. Guy, calm down now. Why are you taking something as trivial as this so serious? Guy, calm down. I just a joke. Wife Materia, how are you doing? I'm fine. It's been a while since I saw you. What's up with you? Nothing is up, oh. I just did. What he means is that he has not been mixed in any drama lately. <laughs> That's true. I have not heard of any of your recent escapades. Up all is well. What do you guys take me for safe? I am not cool guy that likes to say on his own. How will a king like me be found in an unnecessary drama? It's an insult to my royalty. What stupid royalty? You better stop going around saying that rubbish. You sound like a stupid clown. Ta! Me? A stupid clown? See this guy, yo. I am the number one king. Forget that I am here sitting with you people. I am supposed to be sitting on my throne now, ruling my kingdom, if not for my wicked uncle that took away the throne from me. But don't worry, I will be back for my revenge and recover my throne. And when I do, both of you will be bowing down to me. If only you knew how stupid you sound right now. You think it's funny, but it's the lamest thing I've ever heard. You are calling what I said lame, right? Wait till I become the king, then you will know that I am not joking. <laughs> MD, I believe you. I know you are not joking. Now, can we all go and have breakfast? Yes. I'm tired of listening to this guy over here. Let's go and eat. You are tired of listening to me now. But don't worry. Very soon, you'll be begging to listen to me. But I will ask my guys to throw you out. Don't worry. Just a little while before I get my revenge. Hello. My son, all is not well at home. Your father is critically ill at the hospital. His case is very critical. The doctor says it's a 50-50 chance that he might survive. When? What? When did it escalate to that level? I thought you said that it's just a slight fever. That's what I thought, but it's more than that. We also need money. The doctor has refused to commence treatment till we deposit some amount of money. How much is it? I'll transfer it immediately. Tell the doctor to start treatment. I'm sending the money now. And I'll also be in the village tomorrow. Thank you so much, my son. May God bless you for me. It's okay. I'll be in the village tomorrow. Let me transfer the money now. I'll call you later. Bye. Baby, there's something we need to talk about. I also want to talk to you about something. Really? What's the matter? My dad is critically ill at the hospital. Really? How bad is it? Very bad. I'll be traveling to the village tomorrow. I want to make sure he gets the best treatment. I'll come with you. Is it necessary that you come? You can stay here and wait for me. No, I want to come with you. I want to use this opportunity to see my mom. Don't say no, please. It's okay, you can come with me. That's why I love you. I'll go get our bags ready for tomorrow. Yeah, you should. Don't worry too much. Nothing will happen to your father. He'll be fine. I hope so. I know so. Just have faith. All will be well. I'll be in the room. Mama, where is Papa? He is at the hospital. The doctor has fed treatment already. I just came home to welcome you. How was your journey? It was fine, ma. What are you doing here? I came with Daniel to see Papa. You better go back to where you're coming from because you are definitely not following me to the hospital. Go away from here. You are not welcome here. Mama, can you not start this now? Just tell me where the hospital is so that I can go see him. I will tell you, but this girl is not following us. And what's wrong with her following us? My love, maybe you should go home to your mother. I'll handle everything myself. There's no problem. 
I'll go home to my mother since your mother doesn't want me to come with both of you. But make sure you call me to keep me posted on any development. I will definitely call you. Thanks a lot for your understanding. It's alright. Let me be on my way now. My daughter is finally back. Oh. Welcome there. But you did not tell me that you were coming today. It was an impromptu visit. I didn't plan to visit and I didn't have time to call you. So did you and Daniel decide to come home all of a sudden to do the traditional ride? No, mama. So what did you come back for, if not to pay your bride price and get married? Mama, I am so tired after this long journey from the city. I want to rest. I will explain everything to you later. Hope it's not what I'm thinking. Why are you here if not to get married? Mama, we'll talk later. I need to rest now. You can't be serious. What do you mean by the wedding will be next year? Mama, we'll definitely get married next year. Just relax. All I know is that you won't follow Daniel to the city, except he pays your bride price and marries you. I'm definitely following him. I can't be here waiting for him to marry me. What if he goes to the city and marries another girl? If he married another girl, then so be it. You will also marry someone else. I cannot marry another man. I love Daniel and can't marry anyone else but him. Just take a look at yourself. I thought you had some respect for yourself. You don't know how cheap you've made yourself. Sometimes I wonder if I was the one that really gave birth to you. Cause you don't act like the daughter of whom you really are. How can you allow love to take away your senses, self-respect and worth? You become so cheap to this extent. Anyways, I've said my own. If Daniel will not marry you, then you are not going anywhere with him. Mama, but you know that Daniel's father is critically ill at the hospital and you are talking about getting married. That's none of my business. You will not bring my name to the mud. Don't you know that rumors are flying all over the village that you are living with a man in the city who is not your husband, that you are even prostituting there? I don't care what anyone else is saying about me. They can say what they like. It's their mouth. Sometimes I wonder if you are with your senses at all. If I were you, I would think twice and retrace my step. Hello. My love, how are you doing? I'm fine. How is your father? He's getting better. I transferred him to a better hospital in a nearby town where he's receiving better treatment. Doctor says he passed the critical stage and will get better. Wow. Thank God for that. I'm so happy to hear that. I really spent a whole lot of money, but it's worth it since it's okay now. My love, I'm really sorry about my mom's attitude towards you. I just want to assure you that I will not leave you no matter what. It's okay. I'm not angry at you. Neither am I angry at your mother. I understand your mother craving for a grandchild. And if that's what she wants, we'll give it to her. That's why I love you so much. You are such an understanding woman. I love you so much. I love you more. If not for my father's sickness and the loss of expenses I've made, I would have married you now. But I can't because the load will be too much. And I don't want to make expenses that will affect my business. But I'm assuring you that I will be getting married by the end of next year. It's okay by me. As far as we end up getting married, I'm okay. I don't care when. I will come and see you tomorrow. I just go to see how my baby girl is doing. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Alright love, take care of yourself. Bye. I can't just leave Daniel. I just can't leave him. He loves me so much as I do too. Anyone advising me to leave him is an enemy of progress and doesn't like me. How can someone advise me to leave a man as sweet and as loving as Daniel? Anyways, they don't know him as I do. That's why they are suggesting that I leave him. Because if they knew the type of man he is, they won't advise such. They can say whatever they like. I'll follow my heart no matter what anyone says. And my heart lies with Daniel. Good evening, ma. Good evening. How can I help you? I'm Lu... Lu... 
looking for i said who are you here to see i'm here to see amaka she is not around can you leave now but i called before coming and she said she's at home are you there for something i said she's not around Mama, what's the problem? I don't know what is wrong with this man. Tell him to leave my house. I don't want to see him here. Mama, why are you talking to him like that? This is my fiancé you are talking to, my husband-to-be. Fiancé my foot. Better tell him to leave my house now before I descend on him. Mama, if I've done anything to offend you, please tell me so that I can amend. Okay, you're still there, B. You still have mouth to stand there and talk to me. Just wait for me. I am coming to tell you what you have done. Just wait. What did I do to your mother? What has gotten into her? I am equally surprised as you are. Why did you run? You would have waited for me to tell you how you offended me. Nonsense. Mama, what was that for? What is the meaning of this? Better tell that man that I don't want to ever see him here again. I still don't understand why your mother acted in that manner. I can't remember offending her in any way. Don't worry about her. Maybe she had a bad day at the market today or someone else annoyed her and she decided to transfer the anguishion on you. I don't think so. I think she's really angry with me. Please talk to her tonight and get back to me. I really need to know why she's so mad at me. I'll definitely talk to her tonight. I don't know why both our parents are acting this way. First it was my mom. Now it's your mom. All I know is that none of them can tear us apart. That's a fact for sure. I really love you. And no one, not even my mother, can make me leave you. Mama, please don't do this to me. I really love Daniel. I know you are blinded in love. I know you can't see the truth again because the love has blinded you. But as your mother, I'll help you see clearly and re remove the scales from your eye. Mama, I am not blind. I know you are all about his marrying me, but I promise you that he will definitely marry me. Just give us till next year. To fear, Aqua, I'm not waiting till next year again. If he will not marry you now, that both of you are here in this village, he is not taking you anywhere, and I'm definitely not waiting till next year. I'm on my knees. Please don't do this to me. I love Daniel and I can't afford to lose him. If he's not ready to marry you now, then get prepared to lose him because I've had enough of this rubbish. Mama, I'm begging you. Please have a little patience with us. I assure you that we will both get married. I'm not against you marrying him. It's your choice. But my problem is that you won't go back to the city except he marries you. Simple. Tell him to pay your bride price and I will give you both my blessing. <laughs> oh my god so you mean all this happened in my absence yes yeah, so you really missed now wow there's nothing we will not see in this village that reminds me rumors are flying all over the village about you about me i overheard some group of girls at the market today they were talking about your arrival from the city and the fact that you're living with a man who has not paid your bread price so am i even saying that you're prostituting in the city what i'm telling you what i had today at the market nonsense Typical rubbish. They are all jealous. It's not a matter of jealousy. Aren't you afraid that your prestige and name is being dragged to the mud because Danny has refused to do the right thing by you? They are all jealous, my friend. They all wish to be engaged to a rich guy in the city like Daniel, but they all end up with these small village men. They are just angry and bitter. That's why they are talking rubbish about me. But wait, oh. let's leave this gossip aside and face the fact here. Isn't Daniel using you? You stay in his house as a wife, clean the house, do the dishes, do his laundry, and even sleep with him, and he has not married you. Who does that? He's just using and enjoying all the benefits of having a woman in his house. And even that, if he loves you any longer, he might have loved you once, but not anymore. Please, don't you ever question the love that he has for me. You can talk about every other thing, but don't you ever question his love for me. He loves and adores me, which I know. If he really loves you as you claim, tell him to pay your bride price before he leaves. I'm not talking about wedding, you know. Just leave wedding aside for now. Let him just pay your bride price. Okay, 
Enough of all this nonsense. I will tell Daniel and he will pay my bride price before your very eyes. Yeah, tell him. Let him pay it. Then I'll be very sure that he loves you. I have to go now. Let's see tomorrow. Make sure you see Daniel today and tell him. Of course I will. My regards to your parents. Hello. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be in the city. Yes, but I came back to the village for a short visit. What about you? I thought you were at Lagos with your husband-to-be. My fiancé's father is sick, so we both came back to attend and see him. We'll be going back next week. That means the both of you are not yet married. Yes, but we will soon. See, I know you've been living with him for the past one year now, but I don't care. I still have interest in you. Just accept to marry me and I will pay your bride price and marry you immediately. I really like you. I don't think this your fiancé is serious with you. For your information, I am not interested in your offer. Neither is it your business whether my fiancé has officially married me or not. Learn to mind your business. Oh God, I'm so confused right now. Why doesn't Daniel want to pay my bride price? Why waiting till next year? Not just next year, but towards the end of next year, making it two years that I'll be living with him. On the other hand, is Obina, whom I don't even expect will still have interest in me. Should I leave Daniel and go for someone who is ready? But I can't leave Daniel. It will be foolishness to leave Daniel after being with him all this while. And besides, we love each other and love can conquer anything. God, please help me. Hope I'm not making a mistake. I need to go and sleep over this. I'm so tired and confused. I need to clear my head by sleeping. Good morning, dear. Good morning to you too. How are you doing? What do you want? You. I want you. You are the one I want. <laughs> Oh my god, you can't have me. Listen and listen good. You can't have me. I belong to someone else, so please stop disturbing me. I can't stop until you are taken, but you are not taken. Why don't you consider me? Because I don't have any interest in you. Now leave my house and never return. Why don't you make me? Oh, I should make you, right? Yes, I'm not leaving. Why don't you go in and sit so we can at least talk and get to know each other? If you don't leave my house now, you will see another side of me. Better leave. What will you do? Good morning, sir. Good morning, dear. You must be Amaka's friend. Yes, I just came to see her, but since you are here to see her too, I will just leave. Leave here immediately. Amaka, are you mad? Why are you leaving? You would have stayed. Let me pour you hot water. Nonsense. I'm so disappointed in you. How could you do such a thing? Are you coming in or do you want to go and stand there and keep ranting? I'm not coming in. I don't even know how I became friends with somebody like you. I'm sorry for what my friend did to you. I apologize on her behalf. She's not always like that. I don't know what came over her this morning. I've never been insulted in my life like that. This is the highest of it all. But it's okay. I've gotten over it. You have the right to be mad at her. But please forgive her. Do not hold it against her. I know you like her very much. I will talk to her for you. Just give her a little time. Don't bother to do so. I'm no longer angry at her. But I'm not interested in her either. I've lost interest. Oh. But you are a really nice girl. What's your name again? My name is Chidima. Such a beautiful name for a beautiful girl like you. I'd like to know you better. I really missed you. I can't wait for us to get back to the city and be alone with you. Same here. I'm tired of all this interference. So when will your dad be discharged? The doctor said if all goes well, he'll be discharged by next week. So we'll be in Lagos by next week? Yes, love. Oh, can't wait. But I really like to see your father before we go back. Of course, once he's discharged, we'll both go to my house and see him. What about your mother? Won't she chase me away? 
Forget about my mother. What the hell are you doing here with my daughter? How dare you? Good evening, ma. I know you have told me not to come here, but I really love your daughter and can't stay away. I really want to marry her. You must be very stupid to stand here and tell me such. You've kept my daughter in your house for a year, promising to marry her, and you still have the guts to tell me that now. Mama, can you stop insulting my man in my presence? I don't like it. You better shut up your mouth before I give you that slap. You said you love my daughter, right? Yes, ma. I love her dearly. I am not against your loving or marrying her. My problem is that I don't want to see you here until you've paid a bride price. But ma... Leave my house now until you are ready. Let's leave here. We don't have to stand out here and listen to this. Whatever. Just leave. And I don't want to see you here again. Messing up with my daughter because you won't like what I would do. Again. <laughs> Mama, are you leaving for the market already? Yes, any problem? Yes, let me talk to you for a minute. I promise I won't waste your time. What is the problem? It's about Daniel. I thought we've settled this issue. You are not following him anywhere till he has paid your bride price. Simple. I've made up my mind. Mama, try and understand. Daniel would have married me, but his father became seriously ill, which cost him a lot of money. He would have married me now, but for his father's illness. Just give us a little time and all will be in place for us to get married. Please try and understand. I don't care about what expenses he has made or not. My own is that he will not use my daughter for a second time. Period. I don't know why you have decided to be a hindrance to me and Daniel. Why can't you just understand? My mind is made up, so just forget it. Now, if you don't mind, I have somewhere to be now. Hello. Hello. My love, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm just missing you. Same here. Are you at home? Yes. My father has been discharged from the hospital and I'll come pick you up so you'll see him and say hi. I'll go get ready now. And also get ready because we'll be traveling back to the city tomorrow. I can no longer stay here in the village. I have business to attend to. I've talked to my mother but she still won't let me go with you. So what are you going to do now? Will you stay in the village and wait for me till I come back next year and marry you? Never. I am going with you. I'll find a way. Don't bother about that. Let me just get ready to see your father. Okay, I'll be at your place to pick you up. Hope your mom is not around. She's not. You are free to come pick me up. Alright, love. Just get ready. I'll be there in a jiffy. Bye. I have to find a way to go with Daniel tomorrow. I can't let mama stop me from going. I'll sneak out without her knowledge. That's what I'll do. The next time she will hear from me, I'll be in Lagos already. Yes, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll leave quietly without announcing very early in the morning before she wakes up. It's not a game. It's a Good evening, sir. I heard you have been sick and was just discharged, so I came to see you. Yes, my child. Thanks a lot for coming. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. My child, I understand that you love my son very much. I also know that my wife has been troubling you lately. I want you to know that I'm not against you marrying my son. Thank you, sir. But you must also know that Daniel is my only son and child. So, I need grandchildren. I still maintain my wife's stand on getting pregnant before marriage. You have my full blessing and support, but first get pregnant and Daniel will come pay your bride price and then no one will bother you again. I hope it's okay by you. It's okay. That's not a problem, sir. Good. So how is your mother? She's fine, sir. How's your health now? As you can see, I'm back on my feet. All glory to God. Let me go and see why my wife is wasting time in bringing you something to eat. Don't worry, sir. I'll be going now. I have to go home and put the house in order. And besides, Dana and I are going back to the city tomorrow, so I have to go prepare for tomorrow's journey. But you can't just leave without taking something. 
Maybe some other time, but I have to be on my way now. I just came to see how you are doing. I don't intend staying long. It's all right. Since you insist, let me call Daniel to drive you home. Thank you, sir. So you literally sneaked out of the house? I had no choice. My mom would have made it difficult for me if she knew. So I had to go for the easy way, which is sneaking out. But she will still find out. How will she feel and react when she finds out? She might think I kidnapped you and took you away by force. I don't want to have more problems with your mother. Are you not happy that I'm with you? Or would you rather have me stay in the village? Of course. I'm happier with me. Only that I wish your mom gave you the permission. Not you sneaking out. Don't worry about my mother. I will call her as soon as we get to Lagos and apologize to her. If you say so. My parents talked to me this morning concerning us. What did she say? They are still insisting on getting pregnant before allowing us to get married because I am the only child. That's exactly what your dad told me yesterday. We will look into the pregnancy issue when we get back to the city. What if I don't get pregnant before the end of next year? Why won't you? You will definitely get pregnant. Promise me that you will never leave me. Even if you don't get pregnant, I won't leave you. So don't bother yourself. has really left this house even without my consent again i'm even calling her phone but her number is switched off what kind of child is this god knows i've tried my best to make her see the truth but she has vowed not to listen to me anything that comes out of this she will bear it herself i wash my hands off her case month since i came back from the village and i have not missed my period i have to do something about this maybe i and daniel will go see a doctor tomorrow to check if there's something wrong with any of us this pregnancy means a lot to me i can't let daniel parents put her son between us just because of a baby <laughs> Baby, what is the matter? You look worried. You don't look happy. Is everything okay? How can I be happy when I am not yet pregnant? I've told you not to bother about that. You'll get pregnant when you will. How can you tell me not to be bothered when you know the condition your parents gave us? Okay, so what will you have me do? I want us to go see a doctor. Is that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Okay, if that's what you want, we'll go see a doctor tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. Thank you very much. You don't know how happy you have made me. Stop putting up that sad face. I love you so much. I love you too. Our one and only wife material. How are you doing? I'm fine. Come in. Where is Daniel? I called before coming and he said he's at home. He just went to get some groceries at the supermarket. He'll be back any minute from now. Okay, what's up with you? I'm fine. 
You don't look fine. This is not the white material I know. You don't look cheerful. You can tell me whatever it is that is bothering you. MD is at your service. Hope Daniel is not treating you bad. It's not Daniel. He's treating me well. So what is it? You can trust me. I and Daniel have been trying to get pregnant. That's the condition his parents gave us if they are going to allow us get married. But we have been trying and nothing has happened. We even went to the hospital today and the doctor confirmed that we are both okay and there's nothing wrong with us. Really? Yes. Daniel has refused to do anything concerning the issue, saying that I will get pregnant when I will. But I can't sit down and wait. I need to do something. So what do you intend to do? I'm thinking of getting spiritual help. Oh, now I know what exactly you need. You do? There is this prophet I know of. He is the most powerful I have ever seen. There is no problem that you will bring to him that won't be solved. Really? Are you sure about this? Don't you trust your one and only MD again? I don't know if to trust you or not because I'm used to your escapades and I don't know if this is just one of them. Hope you are serious about this prophet too. I'm damn serious about this prophet. When you are ready, just let me know so that I can take you there. What about tomorrow morning? I won't be able to make it tomorrow morning, but I will be available in the evening. Okay, evening is okay. Let me go get you something to drink. Okay, just stay up because your problems are over. If you say so. I'll be right back. Let me get you something to drink. My love, I'll be going to see a prophet today. What for? I was told that the prophet is a powerful man of God and can solve any problem. And what problem do you have that you are going to him? I'm going to table the issue of not getting pregnant to him. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not kidding. I'm definitely going to see him today. We ought to go together. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, who told you about this so-called prophet? It's MD. He said he knows the man very well. MD told you of a prophet? Yes. And you took it seriously to the extent of wanting to go there? Why should I not take it seriously? Because it is coming from MD. He sounded serious. I don't think he was joking. I believe him. Okay, you can go. But I'm not following you anyway. Why? You should come. You are supposed to be there. I don't have time for that. So, I'm the jobless one who has all the time, right? You are the one with the problem, not me. I never told you I had any problem that requires going to a prophet, did I? And what is that supposed to mean? I told you to wait and give it time. But you refused, saying that you need to find solutions to your problem. What nonsense! What kind of nonchalant attitude is this? So it has become my problem, right? I don't blame you. Rubbish. God, please let this visit to this prophet yield positive results. I really need this pregnancy. Our one and only wife material, how far now? I'm fine. Are you ready to have your problem solved by the great prophet? I'm ready. So what are you waiting for? Let's be on our way. All right. You are standing on a holy ground. Mm. The Lord says you carry a very heavy burden and that you even cried before coming here. The Lord is right about my carrying a heavy body, but it's definitely wrong about crying before coming here. I didn't cry at all today. So can you table your matter to the Lord? He's listening right now. I am really in need of a baby. The doctor said I and my partner are fine and that there's nothing wrong with us, so I decided to seek spiritual help. Say no more, for the Lord has heard you. Can you tell your husband to excuse us for a minute? I want to pass a message from the Lord to you. I know be her husband. I mean, the Lord will tell you say she did cry. No tell you say I know be her husband. Young man, you better watch your mouth before the anger of the Lord descend on you. I apologize on his behalf, sir. Don't be offended. Behave yourself. This is a prophet you are talking to. I forgive him because of you. But can you tell him that I need a moment with you? I need to pass a confidential message from the Lord to you. Please, can you wait for me outside? I'll be with you shortly. If you say so.
So what's the message? The Lord said I should tell you that you will definitely have a baby. Really? Yes, in fact, right now. Do you really mean it? Yes, you'll get pregnant right now by me. What do you mean by you? The Lord says your seed will be great, but it has to come from a prophet and not from your partner. I hear everything you they talk, oh. You be like say you the mad. Now my guy, babe, you want run, Abi? Thought I go soon fire you. Where are you going? Shut up, Jare. So now what you they do for here, Abi? Thought I fire you there. No, no, nonsense, babe. Maybe we leave here, Abiko. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It was not funny, you. Please let me laugh because it's very funny. Didn't I tell you not to go? If I had known, I would have listened to you. That your friend is not to be taken seriously. He's such a joke. He can be sensible at times, though. I don't think so. You don't know him well. Trust me when I say that he can be sensible at times. I will go to other churches and pastors, but he won't recommend anyone for me again. So you are still interested in meeting pastors and going from one church to another after today's experience? I know they are fake prophets and pastors, but we still have real and true ones, and I'm definitely going to see the real ones. I won't stop you from going, but you have to be wise. Don't let anyone deceive you. Don't worry about that. No one will deceive me. I've become wiser. I trust my girl. You are so beautiful. Not just beautiful on the outside, but also beautiful in the inside. Thanks for the compliment. You're also a good man with a good heart. Thanks for letting me in and giving me the opportunity of knowing an angel like you. I want to show you something. What is it? It's a surprise. I want you to close your eyes. Really? What's the surprise? You know I don't like suspense. Just close your eyes. Okay. You can open your eyes now. What? Will you marry me and make me the happiest man on earth? Yes, yes, I'll marry you. Thank you so much. You don't know how much happy you've made me. I really don't want to waste time. I want the introduction and traditional marriage done by next week. Then we'll go to Lagos for the white wedding. So fast? Yes, there's no need to waste time. I can't wait for you to finally be my wife. Me too. Thank God your friend rejected me. If not, I would not have had the opportunity of meeting an angel like you. My friend is also a very good person and that she's blinded by love. Is she still living with that guy in the city? Yes. Hmm. Love is indeed blind. Thank God she was blinded by love. It made me find what's actually mine. Maybe we should drop the topic of my friend and talk about us instead. Yeah, we should. I'll come see your parents tomorrow to let them know that I want to officially marry their daughter so we can start preparations immediately. That's okay. I'll let them know as soon as I get home that you'll be coming. I really love you. I love you too. Hello? Babe, you've forgotten me, right? How can I forget you? You'll be my person. Anyways, how are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm good. You can't believe what just happened. What just happened? Guess what? I can't guess. You know I'm not good at guessing, so just tell me. Okay. He just proposed. Who just proposed? You're making me confused. Obina proposed to me yesterday. Which Obina? The same Obina you know about. The Obina in our village. How? You did not tell me that you were dating him. I'm sorry, dear. It happened so fast and I wanted to be sure before telling you. It started when you came back to the village for a short visit. Remember the day you poured water all over him? Yes, I remember. I ran into him the same day at the market and he asked for my number. I gave him a one thing led to another and then he proposed to me yesterday. I, I, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks, dear. The introduction and traditional marriage will be taking place next week here in the village. Really? Yes, yeah, so no time to waste. I don't know if you'll be able to make it because you just came back to the village some months ago. It might be stressful and Daniel may not allow you to travel again. Anyways, not to worry. The Y wedding will be at Lagos, so you must definitely be there.
So you will not be based in Lagos here with me? Yes, so. Oh my god, I can't wait for you to join me here. I'm so excited. Oh, me too. Have you asked Paul part of Lagos his thing? He said something about living on the island. But I don't really understand because I've not been to Lagos. Did you, did, did you just say island? Yeah. Is there any problem with that? Wow. Obina is a rich guy. Yo. You are now a big madam. That's what God can do. I really have to go now. I'll call you back later to give you the whole gist in details. Alright dear. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks love. I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. So Chidima took Obina that I would have married. She just got engaged yesterday and will be getting married next week while well, I have been here for more than a year and Daniel is telling me nothing but stories. God, I can't really say Chidima stole Obina from me. I rejected him and even treated him badly. So she accepted him and now they'll be getting married. God, please hope I am not making a mistake by waiting for Daniel to marry me. I know he loves me and won't break my heart but I can't continue staying here while he has not married me. I need to do something about this pregnancy issue. Yes, I need to get pregnant as soon as possible so that I can get the consent of his parents and they will be able to let us get married. God, please help me. My love, Chirima called me today. Really? How is she doing? She's getting married next week. Did you say getting married? Yes. Wow. That's good. I'm happy for you. Who is she getting married to? She's getting married to Obina. Which Obina? Is it the same Obina that was asking your hand in marriage? He is the one. Hmm. I wish them a happy married life. That's not the point. I know you are not happy about your friend who just got engaged. Is getting married. It's not how far but how well. Remember that slow and steady wins the race. I will surely marry you. Just give me a little time. Are you promising me that you will marry me before the end of next year? I promise. I love you. Please don't break my heart. I love you more. My daughter, is this really you? Yes, mama. Good morning, ma. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma. I just came to inform you about my traditional marriage holding this Saturday. Hey, whoa, you're getting married. Yes, mama. Wow. Congratulations, dear. I'm so happy for you. So, who is the lucky man? It's Obina, ma. Is it the same Obina we know? Yes, ma. That's good. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations once again. May God bless your union. Amen. Thanks a lot. Does your friend know about this? Yes, I told her since last week. Please, do you talk to your friend at all? I don't know what's wrong with her. She's still bent on staying with that man when he is clearly not ready to marry her. I've tried talking to her several times, but she's so stubborn. Don't worry, I'll keep talking to her till she has a change of heart. Please do. I've tried all I can do as a mother, but she won't listen. I will definitely keep talking to her. She's my friend. Alright, dear. God bless you. Amen. I have to go now. Alright. My regards to your parents. I will definitely be there on Saturday. I will be expecting you, ma. Bye. The Obina that Amaka is supposed to be married to is who Chidima is getting married to. What kind of stubborn daughter do I have? Upon all my advice and counsel, even that of her friend, she still refused to listen. Now the man she would have married is taken, and she's still at the city wasting her time on that boy. What do I do? I need to talk to her again. I can't stop talking. I'm a mother. I can't just give up. Who knows she might have a change of heart and decide to listen to me. I will still try calling her this night. I must talk to her today. Hello. Good evening, Mama. How are you doing? I'm not doing fine. What is the problem? Hope you are okay. Did you know that Chidima is getting married this Saturday? 
I know. Hope all is well. And did you know that she's getting married to Obina? Yes. The same Obina who came to her for your hand in marriage. I know, and I don't have a problem with that. I never wanted to marry Obina. I never had any interest in him, so she's free to marry him. Will you shut up? Even if you don't have interest in him, that's not the point. The point is that she just gets engaged last week and is getting married on Saturday. Why you've been with that man for God knows how long and yet there is no sign of his coming to marry you. Mama, I know how you feel, but I want you to be more understanding. I can't just leave Daniel like that. We have been together for long and besides, he has promised to marry me before the end of next year. Can you listen to yourself at all? Before the end of next year? What if he later leaves you for another woman? It can't happen. Daniel loves me so much and he can't hurt me. Amaka, why are you being so stubborn? I'm telling you what is best as your mother, but you've decided to bring shame to me. How can you be living with a man who is not your husband for the past one year? How do you think he will still marry you? You have given him everything that a wife should and he will definitely leave you to marry someone else. If he really loves you as he claims, then let him come and pay your bride price. What is still holding him from doing so? You will not understand, Mama. Even if I explain, you won't still understand. What is there to understand except that you are blindly in love with this man and can't see the truth? You have blinded both your eyes and ears with love. You know what? I'll call you back. I'm really busy right now. We'll talk about this later. Don't you dare hang the phone on me. I'm not hanging up the phone. I just need to attend to something urgent right now. I'll definitely call you later. I've seen that you are determined to be obstinate, but it's okay. God knows I'm trying my best as a mother. Bye. Bye. I thought we've trashed this issue. What else do you want? This issue has not been trashed. I am tired of staying here performing wifely duties for you. If you really love me as you claim, then marry me. It's been months since we returned from the village. You said you needed time to pick up in your business. Now that we are back and your business is doing fine, what's holding you? Maybe you should try getting pregnant first before asking me that question. What? You heard me right. Is it my fault that I am not pregnant? So if I don't get pregnant, are you going to dump me? Don't put words in my mouth. I've told you to relax that I will definitely marry you. But you won't listen. You keep putting pressure on me. What about the condition your parents gave us? I really want to find solution because my parents won't let us get married if you don't get pregnant. So I'm the one to find the solution, right? It's now my problem. Tell me, what kind of a man are you? If your parents say that you won't marry me, you mean to tell me that you will just obey like a baby? I know you want a fight, but I won't give it to you. I have a lot of important businesses to attend to. Come back here. Don't you dare walk out on me. Come back here. We must talk about this issue whether you like it or not. Hello? Babe, what's up with you? I'm great. Guess what? I can't. Just tell me. Okay, let me just tell you. I'm in Lagos. I just arrived yesterday with my husband. Our white wedding will be next week Saturday. You mean to tell me that you are in Lagos right now? Yes, so sorry I didn't call you yesterday to tell you. I was so tired. Please, can you give me your address so that I can come see you tomorrow? We have a lot of catching up to do. Yes, we do. I'll text you the address now. Alright then, till tomorrow. Just send me the address. Alright, I will. Bye. So how did the traditional wedding go? It was great there. I wanted it to be a small wedding, but Obina wanted it big. It was beyond my expectation. My husband really spent a lot of money. I heard it's the biggest traditional wedding ever held in our village. Sorry to say. What about Daniel? How is he? He is doing well. I don't know why he's delaying marrying me. Look at you who just got engaged, has already done your traditional wedding and is planning for the white wedding. What exactly is he saying about that? He said I should wait till end of next year, at the end of this year. I don't even know. <sighs> he said he would definitely marry me. Anyways, let's leave that and talk about you. How is the preparation for the white wedding going? My event planner is taking care of that. 
Really? So where is the reception taking place? At Oriental Hotel. What? Did you just say Oriental Hotel? Yes. Ubina is indeed rich. That hotel is super expensive and only the very rich can afford it. That's what God can do, my friend. I want you to be my chief bridesmaid on that day. Really? Of course. You're my bestie and should be my chief bridesmaid on that day. Oh, I'm so happy and honored right now. So get ready tomorrow because we'll be going shopping for the dresses. I'll give you the address of my house so you can come from there and then we'll head straight for shopping. Wow, I can't wait. Let me go get you something to drink. I totally forgot. Forgive me bad manners. <laughs> it's okay. All right, just give me a minute. Is anything the problem? Why the face and attitude? Didn't you see me coming? Chilima, my friend, just came to visit me today. Oh, really? So she's finally in Lagos with her husband. But wait a minute. How does that explain your not welcoming me? Her white wedding is next week, Saturday. Oh, oh, I see. Now I see where this is going. Look, I had a hectic day at work today. And I don't have time for any of this. All I want is to go take my shower, eat, and go to bed. Why is my food not on the dining? There is no food. And what is that supposed to mean? There will be no food for you until you tell me when exactly you are going to marry me. You must be very stupid. If you don't want me to show you my other side, you better enter that kitchen and serve me my food. Now. Serve you as in what? Am I your wife? Have you paid my bride price? Who the hell do you think you are to order me around? If you want food, go and ask your wife for that, not me. The next time you try to pull this type of stunt with me, Again, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Nonsense. Wow, this is a surprise. You didn't tell me that you will be coming. I know, dear. Don't mind me. I wanted to surprise you. Come in. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I can see that. Wait a minute. Are you the owner of that car outside? Yes, so. My husband just got it for me. Really? Yeah, and guess what? What? He just opened a big supermarket for me on the island. We'll be officially opening it this Saturday. I came here to invite you for the opening ceremony. You mean your husband did all this for you? Yes, Ubina is such a good man. I'm so blessed to have him as my husband. You are more than blessed, my friend. You are so lucky. Let's stop talking about me. How about your fiancé? He's fine. He's at work at the moment. So what are you doing? Do you just sit at home all day doing nothing while he's away? Yes, so he doesn't want me working. But why? What about your dream to be a fashion designer? I thought you told me that you started attending a fashion school when you nearly came here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I can see that. Wait a minute. Are you the owner of that car outside? Yes, so. My husband just got it for me. Really? Yeah, and guess what? What? He just opened a big supermarket for me on the island. We'll be officially opening it this Saturday. I came here to invite you for the opening ceremony. You mean your husband did all this for you? Yes, Ubina is such a good man. I'm so blessed to have him as my husband. You are more than blessed, my friend. You are so lucky. Let's stop talking about me. How about your fiancé? He's fine. He's at work at the moment. So what are you doing? Do you just sit at home all day doing nothing while he's away? Yes, so he doesn't want me working. 
I was attending a fashion school but he stopped me and said I am beginning to get too exposed and all that. He said that he wants me to be a housewife. A house what? A housewife oh. And you agreed? I don't have a choice. Of course you do. Look my friend, you have to do something with your life. You can't be staying here doing nothing. Daniel doesn't look like he's ready to settle down with you anytime soon. It's better you have something doing. So that if anything happens along the line, you will have something to fall back on. But Daniel will not. This Daniel you're killing yourself for is not you your husband though. You better be wise and have something doing for yourself. At least let it be that you gain something from him. He has refused to marry you and he's still refusing to establish you. So what the hell are you doing here? Serving him as his maid or what? You are right. I really have to do something. Better stand your ground and start doing something with your life. I can understand if the both of you are married. But you're not. So you have to stand your ground before it's too late. I will. I definitely will. Thanks a lot, my friend. You are just the best. Don't mention, dear. What are friends for? So just me everything about your new business. How is it going? Can you believe that Chidima's husband opened high supermarkets? Good for her. My love, I want to go back to that fashion school. I want to start going as from tomorrow. You are not going anywhere. Haven't I made it clear already? Besides, I don't have money. What do you mean by you don't have money? I don't have money to put you in a fashion school. So you can please stop disturbing me. Alright, if you don't have money, I will go get a job. Even if it's that of a sales girl so that I can register and start something in my life. You are not going to any fashion school. In there you getting a job. But why? I should allow you to go out, right? So that you can start meeting other men and start cheating. I won't allow it. I'll go get a job whether you like it or not. After all, you are not my husband. And where are you going to? I told you already yesterday, since you have refused to put me in a fashion school, I decided to go get a job. <laughs> I wonder where you got the guts to now challenge me in my own house. If you know what's good for you, don't you dare step out of this house. And if I do, what will you do? <sighs> don't you dare step outside that door. You wouldn't know unless you dare. Try me and see. So this girl tries to dare me. Okay, you will come back to meet me in this house. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. I just saw you coming from that shopping mall. It's like you were looking for a job or something. Yes, I'm seriously looking for a job, but they said that there is no vacancy. I see. What's your name? I'm Amaka. What a beautiful name. I'm Caleb. Nice to meet you, sir. Let me see what I can do for you. I can get you a job at this shopping mall, but I have to pull a few strings first. Can I have your number? Really? Yes. A beautiful girl like you shouldn't be seen roaming around looking for a job. Thank you very much, sir. Here's my number. All right, dear. I will call you tomorrow morning to let you know how far. I will have to be on my way now. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Don't mention, dear. Bye. So you dared me and left this house to go look for a job, right? Please stop this, you are hurting me. Now that should teach you never to disobey me again. So Daniel can now beat me up without remorse, all because I have not gotten pregnant, as though it's my fault that I don't have a child. God, please hear my cry and make me pregnant, please. I'm very sorry, my love. 
I didn't mean to hit you. I did it out of anger and rage. Anger that I am not able to get pregnant or anger that I went to look for a job. No, it has nothing to do with having a baby. I'm just jealous that you might start working, which will expose you to different men, or you might end up leaving me. You know you are very beautiful. That's selfish of you. You don't want to marry me, and you also don't want to establish me because you are scared that I'll go with someone else. You don't even trust me. I trust you. Just that I'm scared of losing you. I love you so much. Please forgive me. I won't hit you again. That's what you always say. I even doubt the fact that you love me as you claim. Please don't doubt my love for you. I really love you. Just forgive me. I forgive you only because I love you so much. Thanks a lot, love. I love you more. I promise never to hit you again. Wait a minute. What happened to your face? It's a minor accident. I fell down in the bathroom. No, this is not a fall. Wait a minute. Hope Daniel doesn't beat you. What? No, Daniel can't try that. Tell me the truth. Don't you lie to me. Okay, it's true. Why? So Daniel had the F on you to raise his hand on you. Where is my phone? I'm calling the police right now. No, no, please don't call the police. I still love him. He didn't mean to hit me. Are you okay? What do you mean he didn't mean to hit you? Daniel is going through a lot right now. His parents won't let me get married to him except that I'm pregnant. The frustration is making him act like that at times. I know he loves me and wants to marry me, but his parents won't just let us be. Sometimes I wonder if you're with your senses. What are you still doing here? Can't you see that you're not needed here? I can't give up on Daniel and leave him after years of relationship. If only I can get pregnant, all this will be over. Really? Yes. I don't know why you allowed love to make you this blind. You gave Daniel not only your heart, but also your brain. Whatever. Please, I need you to do me a favor. There's this church I saw when I was looking for a job. I heard the pastor is really a real man of God. And I really need to see him. I heard he sees vision and there is no problem that cannot be solved as far as he's involved. Eh? Yes, I want to visit him tomorrow. But I want you to follow me. Let's go there together. Let me see if he can pray for me so that I can get pregnant. Please. Okay, I'll follow you since that's what you want. Tomorrow is it then? We'll go there tomorrow morning. No problem. So how is business? Hope your sales girls are handling things well. Of course they are. They try not to misbehave. I don't joke with my business and they know it. That's good. You're so lucky. You can do better if you want to. And you don't just want to get up from your comfort zone. Please let's leave that one for now. My own is to get pregnant now and get married. Okay, oh, if you say so. Hello? Good morning. Who am I speaking with, please? This is Caleb, the guy who promised to get you a job at that shopping mall. I called to tell you that I managed to get you a job as an attendant at the mall. Really? They said you can start tomorrow. Thank you very much, sir. I really don't know how I can pay you back for your kindness. I really need this job. Thank you so much. You are welcome. The manager of the mall is a friend of mine, so I just had to talk to him. Thank you so much for your kindness. I'm really indebted to you. I'll start tomorrow then. Alright then. I will talk to you later. I have to go now. Okay. Bye. Yes. Yes. Finally, I get to leave this house every day. If I work there for about 4 to 5 months, I'll be able to save up and enroll into the fashion school of my choice. What's left now is pregnancy. God, please answer my prayer and give me a baby so that Daniel can marry me and I'll finally be happy and fulfilled. My queen, I love you so much. You are the only woman that makes me happy. How much do you love me? So much that it can't be quantified. Really? Are you sure or you are just pulling my legs? If I lie, may water carry me away. That reminds me, I forgot to tell you, I just got a job as an attendant in a shopping mall. I'll start work tomorrow. My love, why do you like it when we have issues? Like it how we have issues? How? I thought I've made it clear that I don't want you to work. 
I know, but please, you really have to allow me work. I can't be staying at home doing nothing all day. Chidima, whose husband is, is even a multi-millionaire, is even working. Not to talk of me. Please, just let me. I've made my decision clear on that matter. You are not working and that's it. My love, please. My decision is final. You go nowhere. Please, if you really love and trust me, you will let me go. You know that you are still trying to get pregnant. How do you expect to get pregnant if you go about stressing yourself? Staying at home all day is making me depressed. I think a lot when I'm alone in the house all day. But if you let me go out, it will make me busy and also make me forget my worries. I think I will even be able to conceive when I start working because I will be more relaxed. Please, just let me go. Don't keep me here like a prisoner. Okay, I will let you go on the condition that you don't have any male friends. If I catch or suspect you of having any male friend, not to talk of having an affair, you will stop working. I will never let you work again. Thank you so much. You don't know how happy you have made me. It's alright. Just stand up. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, dear. How was your first day at work? It was great. Thanks a lot for your help. Don't mention. Is it possible for us to meet this evening? I really want to get to know you. Um, um, I can't really make it this evening. Maybe some other time, please. Oh, and I really wanted to see you this evening. Anyways, maybe some other time. I will call you later. Alright then. Bye. Now, wow. This one that this guy is already wanting me to have a date. I don't want anything that would jeopardize my relationship with Danielu. God, please just help me. Babe, what's up with you? Hello. I'm fine. I just called to let you know that Daniel has finally allowed me to start working. Really? That's good. At least you'll be leaving that house every day. You can say that again. The pay is really good. After five months, I'll be able to enroll in a fashion school. Please, make haste and do so. Because there's no time to waste. How about you? How are you doing? I'm doing great there. Where will you come and see me? I'm missing you already. You know I'm working already, so we'll only be seen during weekends. Yeah, that's true. Alright then. Will you come over this weekend? Of course I will. I need to go prepare dinner before Daniel comes back. Bye. Alright, love. My regards to him. Bye. My love, I need to ask you for a favor. I'm listening. My, my phone is having serious problems. In fact, it's really old and needs to be changed. Can you please get me a new one? You are not serious. I thought you are working. When they pay you, get yourself a new phone. I don't have money to waste. What? You call getting a new phone for me a waste? You are working now, so sort yourself out. Gosh, what kind of a man are you? I don't understand you at all. Maybe I should go and sleep now. I don't have the strength to argue and fight with you. I have been trying to call you for the past two weeks now without being able to reach you. I was just on my way to the shopping mall this morning to look for you and know what's wrong. I'm sorry about that. Just that I don't have a phone at the moment. My phone is no longer good. I kept it aside waiting for when I'll receive my first salary so I can get a new one. Hmm, I see. Okay, so can we have a date tomorrow afternoon? I would really like to know you more. Pick any restaurant of your choice. I will be there. Don't say no, please. Okay, let's meet at Tasty Itchy. Do you know there? Yes, I'll meet you there by 2 p.m. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. To be honest with you, you are so beautiful. I have not seen anyone as beautiful as you are. I am a very straightforward person and I would like to go straight to the point. But before I do, I have something for you. Which is? This is for you. This is an iPhone. I know that you are beautiful and a beautiful girl like you deserves beautiful things. This is just a tip of an iceberg. I like you so much and I would like to be in a relationship with you. I... I... I, you know what, 
I'll think about it. Okay, I guess you are surprised. So, I will give you time to think about it. Please, let it be a favorable reply. So, can you tell me more about yourself? What do you want to know about me? Everything. I found this phone in the bedroom. Whose phone is this? Oh, it's mine. Where did you get the money to buy this kind of phone? It's a gift from a friend. A new friend? Yes, he's just a friend, nothing more. A new friend bought you an iPhone for nothing? I will never cheat on you. I'm telling you the truth. Believe me, he's just a friend, nothing more. Do you seriously expect me to believe that? You seriously have to believe me, please. Stop lying to me. You're getting me angry the more. I would have known better than to allow you work there. As from today, you are never to move out of this house until I give you the permission to do so. And this should be the last time you ever tell me you want to work anywhere. What are you still doing here sleeping? Where is my breakfast? Good morning. Just hold the greeting. Where is my breakfast? I'm sorry, I woke up late. If you give me a minute, I'll quickly fix something. Don't bother. I'll be on my way. I can't wait. I'm already late for work. But this shouldn't repeat itself again. You know I don't joke with my stomach. I'm sorry. It won't repeat itself again. That reminds me. MD is coming over tonight. He'll be having dinner with us tonight. So prepare something nice. Now that you are grounded and will be inside, let's see if you'll get pregnant. Look, I'm very sorry for everything. It's not as if I don't want to marry you, but you know the condition my parents gave us. I know, but that doesn't mean you should hate me. I'm sorry. The thought of losing you to someone else drives me crazy. Please promise me that you will not leave me for anyone else. I promise. I love you so much. Just give me a little time. Whether my parents give their consent or not, I will definitely marry you. <laughs> My love, your dinner is ready. I'm not hungry. Why? Are you sick or something? I'm perfectly fine. I'm not sick. Then why did you allow me waste my time cooking when you know that you won't eat? The thing is that I don't have appetite for food anymore. What I want now is babies, not food. So is it my fault that, that I can't get pregnant? I never said so. Don't put words in my mouth. But you seriously need to do something about it. My parents are seriously pressurizing me. So... I'm the only one who is doing something about it, right? Look, it's a woman's job to get pregnant, not a man. So when I say you should find a solution, I'm definitely not wrong. What? You heard me. That's totally normal. How about Obina? Hope is helping you out. Helping is an understatement. Obina has been such a darling. So what about Daniel? Does he really mean to keep you inside here forever? He wants me to get pregnant. That's why he doesn't want me to go anywhere. Hmm. That reminds me. I want us to go see my pastor concerning this matter. Another pastor? Look, I am done going from one pastor to another. I did rather stay here, please. Have I ever told you to follow me to go see any pastor before? No, but... This is the pastor of the church I attend. If I don't know him well, I won't invite you. Trust me on this. He is a real man of God. Okay. I am only going because you are the one inviting me. If not, I've already made up my mind not to go to any pastor. So, when do you want us to go? Anytime you're ready. I'm staying at home doing nothing all day. Let's go tomorrow morning. After we visit this pastor, you will thank me later. I hope so. I know so. Hello, Mama. How are you doing? I am all fine, though. I want a grandchild. Give me grandchildren, Daniel. Time is no longer on our side. Mama, you talk as if I know where they sell babies and has refused to get one. What about that girl in your house? She's fine. Mama, just give us little time, please. I have given you enough time. You better take my advice and leave that girl for someone who will give you babies. Mama, I can't just throw away Amaka. We've been together for long. For me to just throw her like that. Okay. Oh. All I know is that I will not give you my blessings until you give me a grandchild. I've had you, Mama. I have to go now. I'll call you later, please.
sometimes I don't even understand that guy called Daniel anymore. I don't understand him anymore. He used to be very sweet and caring when we first met. Now he has turned into something else. Just because of this pregnancy, God, please restore love to my life by giving me a baby, please. Chilima, hope this man is real as you claim him, because I'm tired of running into false prophets and pastors. Babe, calm down. This is the pastor of my church. I've known him since I came to the city. If he was fake, I won't refer you to him. If you say so, I'm hanging on your word. Just trust me. Good morning, sir. This is my friend Amaka, the one I told you about. The one looking for a baby? Yes, sir. My sister, you are highly welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for the life of your daughter, which I know you have brought her here for a purpose. I pray that you touch her and visit her at the very point of her need. Amen. 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 Before we continue to pray, can I ask you a few questions? Anything, sir. The man you are living with now, is he your husband? He is my fiancé. We'll be getting married soon, but his parents have refused our getting married until I'm pregnant. I see. As we are praying, the Lord revealed to me that he is not your husband and that it's best if you leave him and that he wanted you to leave that man. That's the reason you are not pregnant. But pastor, I can't just leave Daniel like that. He's the love of my life and besides, we have been together for long. That's what the Lord revealed to me Why we were praying. Once you leave Daniel, it won't be difficult for you to get pregnant. There is nothing wrong with you. His parents are against your union. And he doesn't find the courage to disobey them and marry you. Hmm. Thank you very much, Pastor. I'll think about it. It is well with you, my daughter. So, how did you see the Pastor? I think he's okay. He looks real. He's real. So, are you going to do what he says? I'll have to think about it. What's there to think about again? The pastor has told you the truth. What again are you thinking about before you take action? I can't just take decisions like that without thinking about it and weighing it on a scale. Okay, well, think very well. Wait a minute. How am I sure that this pastor is real? How am I sure that he didn't collide with Chidima to make me leave Daniel? After all, she has always wanted to separate me from Daniel. Her plans will not work. Oh. She already has a husband and is about to have a baby. But she still wants to tear the one that I'm about to have apart. I won't let that happen. No, I will disappoint her. God, please put all my enemies to shame. Confuse and scatter their plans. Most especially, give me a baby so that they will be more disappointed. <sighs> In fact, I'm no longer going to see any, any pastor. I'll stay here at home and pray to my God. And I know he will answer me. Amaka? Yes? What's the problem? Why are you so angry? Didn't I tell you to do my laundry before I left for work this morning? I'm so sorry, dear. After I came back from seeing that pastor I told you about, I was so tired that I slept off. I forgot about the clothes. I'll do them first thing tomorrow morning. What? How dare you? You sit at home all day doing nothing. And I asked you to wash my clothes, only for me to come back and meet them unwashed. If you had a baby that you are taking care of, I would understand that you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant, neither are you breastfeeding a baby. And you sit at home just being lazy and useless. At least, if you can't give me a child, be useful to me in other areas. Daniel, it's not fair! Will you shut up? So you still have the mouth to talk, right? This should be the first and last time this ever happens. You won't find it funny the next time it refits itself. <laughs> you are definitely not serious. I'm serious, so I'm now a born-again Christian. I am done chasing babes. You don't know how hilarious you sound right now. Just stop it. 
So what is a born again Christian doing at a bar? Um, um, I just, I just, I just came here for a. <laughs> that reminds me, how is our wife material? Can you just shut up? Born again, my foot. See you, see born again. Chronic womanizer like you. No even go there. I see if you know the womanize before you bring your babe. Come Lagos. Thank God you said before. And at least I have a babe. Where is yours? Don't worry, it go shock you. Wow. See this babe. She's so beautiful. Hey, you better leave that babe for guys like us. You better go home to your wife to be. You know what? Just give me a minute, I'll be back. Where you they go? You don't forget to say you keep gay for house. Guy, free me first. I they come. Hello, I'm Daniel. Would you like some company? Sure, have a seat. So, what's your name? I'm Cynthia. That's a lovely name. Thank you. You're such a beautiful girl. I'd really like to know you more. Sure. Thanks a lot. So, tell me about yourself. What you do and where you are from. I'm a 400 level student of Unilag. Really? That's good. What are you studying? Accounting. That's a good course. Yes, it is. What about you? What do you do? I'm a businessman. I'm into electrical gadgets. Nice one. I really like you. I would like us to be friends. Is that okay by you? Sure. Please, I have to go now. I came here to see a friend, but the person disappointed me and didn't show up. So, I have to leave now. Can't you wait a little more? I'm really enjoying your company. I wish I could, but I really have to be somewhere else now. Alright then. Here, yeah, bye for now. Guy, that babe really makes sense. She's so beautiful and intelligent. Guy, don't tell me you are serious about that girl. I really don't know about that. But what I know is she's pretty, hot, and smart. Don't forget you have a wife material. Infinity years at home. I beg, leave that one. Okay, oh. Don't say I didn't tell you. I don't know what to worry yourself. Whatever. My love, why are you coming from by this time? Where? Is that a way of welcoming me? I'm sorry, love, but it's just that you don't come home this late. I have been up waiting for you. So what made you come home this late? It's none of your business. Did you just say it's none of my business? You heard me. Now if you excuse me, I need to rest. Hello, it's Daniel, the guy you give your number to at the bar. How are you doing? I'm great, and you? I'm fine. Only that I'm missing you already. I really enjoyed your company this night. Anyways, I enjoyed your soon. Please, is it possible for us to meet up tomorrow? I really want to see you again. Hold on a second. Let me check my schedule. Okay, I think I'll be free tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Just pick any place of your choice, and I'll meet you there. Okay, I'll text you where I want us to meet. Alright then. Good night there. Have a lovely night rest. And you too. Bye. Who are you on the phone with? What the hell is wrong with you, this girl? Why don't you mind your business and leave me alone in peace? Did I do anything to offend you? Why the attitude? I want to sleep now. I don't need any disturbance from you. Please. If I offended you in any way, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. My love. Wait a minute. What is the matter? You have refused to speak to me since yesterday. Is there something I did that you don't like? Is that what you stopped me for? Wait a minute, please. I don't have all day. So if you have something to say, just say it. Um, um, we ran out of foodstuffs. I need some money so that I can go to the market and buy some foodstuffs. There's nothing in this house. So the foodstuff you got the other day is, is finished? Yes. We are not serious. I don't have any money. How can the full stop you got the other day finish just like that? I'm not giving you any money, you are too extravagant. If you don't mind, I need to be at my place of work now. You are so beautiful. 
I love everything about you. Thanks for the compliment. You don't look bad yourself. You have a boyfriend? No, I'm very much single. You? Same here. Hmm, are you sure? Do you doubt me? Kind of. Look, I would never dream of lying to you. I really like you, and I would like to get serious with you. Okay, I believe you. But if I find out that you're lying to me, I won't be happy at all. I swear to you, I'm not lying. It's okay, I believe you. So, will you be my girlfriend? Huh, I really have to think about it. Take your time, but please don't take too long. No, I won't. Thank you once again. You're welcome. It's up, so that I can take you shopping. <laughs> really? Yes, you deserve even more. I'm so going to spoil you with wonderful things. I'm so excited, thank you very much. Just eat up so we can go. Yes? Why is my food not ready yet? I told you that there was no food stuff in the house, but you ignored me. I'm sorry, but there's nothing to eat. So you mean there is nothing in this house to make for me? How dare you let me come home without meeting my dinner? How many times have I told you that I don't play with my stomach? If you don't play with your stomach, then you should have dropped the money I asked you for. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? You still have the mouth to talk back at me, right? You think I don't know that each time I give you money to buy food stuff, you divide the money and buy food stuff that can't last us? I have never done that. Where is this accusation coming from? You don't want to say the truth, right? Don't worry. By the time I'm true with you today, you will learn to be careful with any money I give you for food in this house. Hello. How are you doing there? Thanks a lot for today's shopping and everything you've got for me. I really appreciate it. Don't mention there. A beauty queen like you deserves even more. Concerning your proposal today, I've thought about it already and I've decided to give us a chance. Are you saying you've agreed to be my babe? Yes. You don't know how happy you've made me this night. I'm the happiest man on earth. Thank you so much. Just promise that I won't regret this decision, that you won't end up breaking my heart. How will I break my angel's heart? I promise you that you'll enjoy this relationship. Okay, I really have to go now. We'll talk later. I need to sleep now. Alright, love. Hey, use the money to get some food stuffs. I will inspect what you bought. So if you like, don't use the whole money to buy exactly what you are told to buy. If I did something to you, why don't you just tell me? Why are you treating me like this? God, what has come over Daniel? This is not the Daniel I used to know. The Daniel I know is a kind, loving man who would never talk harshly, not to talk of raising his hand on me. What has gotten into him? Why the sudden change towards me? Is it the pregnancy issue that is bringing this friction between us? God, please, hear my cry and give me a baby. I am sick and tired of being treated this way just because I am yet to get pregnant. I know Daniel still loves me as much as I love him. All I need to do is get pregnant and all this will be over. God, please, answer me. Answer me, please. Hello? Babe, what's up with you? How are you doing? I'm not doing fine at all. What's the matter? It's Daniel. He has been acting so different lately. He keeps late nights without explanation. Doesn't even give me enough money for upkeep like he used to. He talks harshly to me and even hits me. It's not like this before now. It was not like this before. I don't know why he changed all of a sudden. Have you tried to talk to him about it? Maybe you offended him and he's trying to get back at you. I've tried to talk to him, but he won't even talk to me. I have begged him severally to forgive me if I've offended him. I don't even seem to think of anything that I did. He just changed his attitude to me all of a sudden. Hmm. Maybe he's seen someone else. What did you just say? When a man changes all of a sudden without a cause, there's a probability that he's seen someone else. No, it can't be true. Daniel cannot bring me to Lagos and keep me here for over two years without marrying me and still have the effrontery to cheat on me. Point of correction, Daniel didn't keep you there. You kept yourself there. Are you trying to judge me or what? Call it whatever you like. I just told you a piece of my mind. You know you're my friend. I can't pretend to lie to you. Anyways, I have to go now. I have a business to attend to right now. I'll call you later this evening.
Just take it easy, okay? Bye. No, this can't be true. That they can't be cheating on me. It's my lack of not being able to get pregnant that transmitting him act this way, not another woman. He can't pay me back in this manner. Or is Chidima suggesting this just to make me leave Daniel? She has always wanted me to leave Daniel right from when I was in the village. She wants me to leave him and go back to the village, but I won't be that gullible. I can't leave my long-time relationship just because of a friend's speculation, which I'm not even sure of. Nevertheless, I have to confront him about the matter tonight, though. I have to be sure. You have been so quiet since you came back. Why haven't you spoken to me since you returned from work? Because I don't have anything to say. Really? What's your problem? Won't you let me eat my food in peace? Or should I live here for you? Is there another woman? What did you just say? You heard me clearly. Are you seeing someone else? Is she the reason why you have been treating me badly recently? Look, I don't even know where you are getting this crazy idea from. But I don't have any woman anywhere. I know I have not been really kind to you lately. I'm sorry about that. It's business. What's with the business? It's been bad recently. Sales have declined. And it's making me sad. And also my parents have been on my neck about the pregnancy issue. And also getting married. And it's driving me crazy. You should have confided in me. I'm your wife to be. If you are going through things, you should let me know. I tried talking to you, but you never seemed available. I'm sorry about that. I've not been thinking straight lately. It's alright. I'm always here for you. Please, zero your mind about me cheating. I want you to know that I will never cheat on you, no matter what. I know you won't. I trust you when it comes to that. I love you. I love you more. I need to go out now. I'll be right back. Where are you going to by this time of the night? MD just called me. He said that he's stranded somewhere and I should go pick him up. He seems to have gotten into trouble again. Really? Yes. He doesn't have any means of getting into his house. That's why he called me to come get him. Can I come with you? No, it's late already. I need to run along. I'll be back before you know it. Alright then. My regards to him. I'll be up waiting for you. So don't keep me waiting too long. It won't be long. This one Amaka is already suspecting me of cheating. I don't want her to know about Cynthia for now. I want my affairs discreet till I'm sure of what I want to do. Anyways, Amaka is very gullible. All I need to do now is wash her head with nice sweet words. And she will buy everything I say. She really trusts and loves me. So it will be easy. Hello? My love, why are you keeping me waiting? I've been in this hotel room for close to an hour now. You know I don't like to be kept waiting. I'm really sorry, love. I'm on my way now. I'll be with you any moment from now. I'm really sorry for the delay. Alright, just hurry up. Okay, bye. So you're going home or you're spending the night here? I'm spending the night with you here. Of course. Who would want to leave an angel like you? Why don't we stay at a place instead? It will be better instead of staying in a hotel room every night. I know. But I just got a new apartment. And I'm still furnishing it. I can't bring you there when everything is not yet in order. I don't care whether it's furnished or not. As far I'm with you, being with you is what matters. I know. But we are a queen. And a queen should be treated as one. I can't bring you to a house that is not well furnished and set. Don't worry, as soon as everything is ready, you'll be coming to my house whenever you want. Okay, if you insist. I love you so much. I know, and I love you too. coming from i was up throughout the night because of you i have even called md but he doesn't know where you were either 
your phone was switched off throughout the night what happened where are you coming from is that the good money you are supposed to tell me or is that how you are supposed to welcome me is that the explanation you have to give me is that how you reply me after making me sleepless and worried throughout the night i deserve an explanation you know i don't have time to explain anything right now i will do that once i'm back from work this evening now if you don't mind i need to go freshen up and head for my place of work you are not going anywhere until you tell me where you were last night something came up at work and i had to stay and fix it it was so late when i finished so i had to sleep at the nearby hotel are you satisfied now what kind of shabby explanation is that what about your phone why didn't you call me to inform me look i don't have time for any of this i'll explain everything to you once i come back from work You better come back here and explain yourself, fool. Oh. You can't walk away on me just like that without any explanation. What kind of nonsense is that? You must explain yourself before leaving today. Once you have finished preparing for work, you come and meet me here. I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> Hello. What's up with you, sweetheart? Nothing much. I just called to tell you that I'll be traveling to the U.S. in three days' time. The U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, so... Really? Wow. I'm so happy for you. You are so lucky and blessed. I pray God bless my Daniel too like that though. He will there. Just have faith. Talking about Daniel. How is he doing now? Hope he's treating you right. Yes. He's not cheating like you predicted. He was just going through some difficulties at the moment. That's why he was acting weird. Are you sure? Yes. He's not treating me well. That phase is over. Okay. If he says so, I have to go now. I just called to tell you about my traveling. Okay. I wish you Johnny message. Bye. Thanks a lot there. I'll call you later. Bye for now. Hello. My love, where are you? It's late. I've been calling your number, but it's not going through. I just called to tell you that I won't be coming home this night. But why? This is already becoming a habit and I don't like it. Why will you not come home? I don't like the way you are questioning me. It's my house and I can come back whenever I like. Period. I just called to tell you. What is keeping this man outside the house? Is there another woman? No. I refuse to believe that. That now can't be everything. But he's definitely not a womanizer. But I need to find that nevertheless. I need to know what is keeping him outside. It wasn't like this before. This habit just started. There must be something and I must find out what it is. My love, I want to ask you for a little favor. Just ask and I will do it right away. I'm tired of sharing an apartment with my friend and I want an apartment of my own. Just a little and cozy one for me alone. How much do you need? Consider it done. I will transfer the money to you this evening. Really? Yes, love. Anything for my queen. I want my queen to be as comfortable as possible. You're just the best. I love you so much. I love you more. I think my own is greater. No, mine is greater. I love you more than you love me. I wish I could open my heart so you can see it for yourself. Really? Yes, my love for you is so great. It can be quantified. I believe you. So are you spending the night here? No, I have to go home tonight. But wh why? Do you have a baby you're going to breastfeed or something? Not at all. I just need to be at home tonight. I promise you, I will make it up to you tomorrow. Okay, if you insist. That's why I love you. My love, I need a little favor from you. I'm listening. I need money to buy my cream and toiletries. I need to get some clothes as well. How much do you need? I'll manage 50,000 naira. What? 50,000 naira? Yes. Why are you shouting? Is it too much? Now, very stupid for asking if 50,000 is too much. Do I pluck money from trees or what? I don't have that amount of money. But I need those toiletries. And besides, you even give me more than that before. What has happened? What happened is that business is not moving as before. Therefore, I don't have money to give you. Okay, I'll manage 20,000. Don't you get it? I don't have any money to give you. I don't know why you lack simple understanding. You amaze me. This is unlike you. Maybe I should live here for you since you won't let me sit here in peace.
trying to mock me. Look, no need to make a big deal out of this. Try and get pregnant. Simple. So this is my fault, right? Am I the one to put the baby in my womb? You're not a good person. My staying here with you has been a mistake. How am I even sure that you will not still dump me in the end because I'm here to get pregnant? It's alright. I'll make it easy for you. I didn't mean what I said. Why are you making a mountain out of a mere hill? Why are you taking what I said seriously? I was only pulling your legs. I never meant it. You were not pulling my legs. You were serious. Your attitude towards me has changed a lot. I don't think you love me anymore. So what am I still doing with a man who doesn't love me? Don't ruin my plans. I've already made arrangements for our traditional marriage next week. I've managed to convince my parents to allow us to get married, even without you getting pregnant. And they agreed to give us their blessings. I didn't even want to tell you because I wanted it to be a surprise for you. But now you want to ruin everything by leaving me at the dying minute. Don't break my heart this way. Don't. Are you serious about what you just said? I'm more than serious. Why would I joke about such a thing? But why didn't you tell me? Like I said earlier, I wanted it to be a surprise. You don't know how happy you've made me. Thank you so much for not putting me to shame. I should be thanking you for staying by my side all this while and believing in me. I, I love you so much. I, I can't leave you for any reason. I love you more. I can't wait to call my mom and tell her. I can't wait to tell everyone. I can't wait to call my mom and tell her. I can't wait to tell everyone. No, don't tell anyone in the village yet. I want it to be a surprise to your mom and even the villagers who have been gossiping and saying all sorts of things. Yes, you're right. But please, permit me to tell Chidima, my friend. Okay, you can tell her. Yes, I'll call her first thing tomorrow morning to let her know. Are you serious about what you're telling me? Why will I joke about something like this? I am very serious about this. I'm getting married next week Saturday. I'm more than happy for you. After all these years, so Danny has decided to be serious. That's good. What about his parents? They have given us their consent. This is good news. Seems God is at work here. Yes, yeah, so he has finally decided to answer my prayers. He's really a good God. So how is the wedding going to be? He said he wants both the traditional and the white wedding big to compensate and thank me for being patient with him. I didn't want it big, but he insisted, so I had to agree. Please, if you want and can afford a big wedding, then let him. You deserve it. You are right. So your friend is finally getting married after years with that Daniel of a man? Yes, so. Hmm. So does that mean the pastor you took her to was lying about Daniel not being her husband? That pastor is a real man of God. I believe him. There has to be a mix-up somewhere. Something is not right about the whole thing. Something is not right about what exactly? Is it the pastor or your friend getting married? It's about Amaka getting married. Daniel has never been serious about getting married. And his mother has always been against Amaka marrying her son. So why the quick change of hearts? There's something wrong. Hmm, I see what you're saying. Is that not Daniel and another lady? He's the one. I knew that something was not right. So he's seen another lady and wants to marry my friend. I'm calling Amaka immediately. Do you think that's a good idea? I can't see something like this and not tell my friend. I must let her know the kind of person she's about to get married to. Good evening, love. So you have been cheating on me all this while? Cheating on you? Please, where is this coming from? Because I don't understand you. Don't even try to play ignorance with me. You think I don't know you went to a hotel with a lady today? Deny it! Please, I don't know what you are talking about. I've been at my place of work throughout today. Chidima and her husband saw you coming out of the hotel by 2 o'clock this afternoon. So don't even think you can deny it. So you believe your friend more than you believe your husband? Why are you so naive and blind? Can't you see that your friend is trying to break us? Are you not the one who told me that she advised you to leave me? I know Chidima has told me to leave you. But she can't fabricate something like that. She can. Since she has always wanted you to leave me, she can fabricate stories just to make sure you leave me. Be wise. Why now? Why tell you this now? 
She knows we'll be getting married if not to stop us. Please, do not allow your friend come in between us, please. Are you truthfully saying that you did not cheat on me and that you did not go to any hotel with any girl? I swear on my grandfather's grief. I'm not cheating on you. Why would I even do that when I'm getting married to the most beautiful girl in the world? You have to believe me. Okay, I believe you. I love you so much. Please don't break my heart. Please. I won't. I can't. I have never liked that your friend. I knew she was troubled the first time I saw her. But I didn't want to tell you to dismiss her because she might feel bad since she's your childhood friend. But I think it's high time you dismiss her so that she doesn't cause problems, especially in our marriage. I always knew that she wanted me to leave you, but I never knew she could go to this extent. I'm cutting her off immediately. I don't need unfriendly friends in my life. That's my queen. That's why I love you. Why don't you want to pick up the call? Who's calling? It is that homebreaker. I don't want to talk to her. She has done enough. No need to avoid her call. Just pick up her call and dismiss her once and for all. You are right. Hello? Hello? What's up? Have you confronted him about the matter? What matter? If I may ask. Are you kidding me? I thought I told you that I saw your husband. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You are funny. You think you are wise, right? You think I don't know about your plans to break my relationship, fabricating life so that I can leave Daniel. What? I don't know what your plan is, but you have failed because I won't give you that chance. Stay away from me. Stay away from my husband. Nonsense. That's good. I won't let anyone or anything come between us. I love you so much. I love you more. You need to see the way she insulted me and hung the phone up on me. I'm still shocked as I speak to you right now. That your friend should be sick upstairs. How can one be so foolishly and blindly love someone the way your friend is in love with Daniel? That's not my problem. My problem is the insult she hurled at me. She called me a homebreaker. Me, her friend, a homebreaker. I think you should let her be as she has told you. Don't call her or even try to visit her. Let her be on her own. She will find out the truth sooner or later. But I just hope it will not be too late for her when she finds out. So all my efforts to make this girl see the truth went down the drain. I should have known that I was wasting my time on someone who is already blinded by love. Let's forget about them and focus on ourselves. You are the best woman I've ever known. And I love you so much. I know. And I love you too. Hello. You lying idiot. So you think you can play me, right? Hello, calm down. Why the insult? You think I won't find out that you have a fiance in your hands and that's the reason you've been avoiding my coming. A fiance? Where did you get that information from? It's none of your business. I did my investigation and I found out that she has been living with you for more than two years now. Please calm down. Let me explain. Explain what? So you have someone at home who you intend to marry and you deceived and lied to me. So you could get down with me. What's painful about the old thing is I'm carrying your cheddar, but never mind, I'll get rid of it. And get off your life forever. Wait, did you just say you are pregnant? Yes, two weeks pregnant. Please don't do anything to that pregnancy. Can we meet and sort this out this night? There is nothing to sort out except that I want you out of my life. Please, I still love you very much. You are the one I love. Don't harm our child, please. I will do anything you want me to do. Anything. Fine. Let's meet. Thank you very much. I will see you in an hour. Who are you talking to, dear? Oh, a customer. Is dinner ready? Yes, I came to tell you that. I don't think I'm hungry. But you're the one complaining of being furnished a few minutes ago. What happened? I've lost my appetite. I don't feel like eating for now. No, I insist you eat, even if it's just a little. I put in a lot of effort to prepare this dinner. You can't just refuse to eat all of a sudden. Okay, I'll try and eat. That's my man. What's 
what's the matter? You look worried. Nothing much. I really need to attend to a situation at my place of work. Something just came up and I need to sort it out. I'll be back soon. What came up? I will give you the details when I come back. For now, I have to go. Bye. What's the matter? You look worried. Nothing much. I really need to attend to a situation at my place of work. Something just came up and I need to sort it out. I'll be back soon. What came up? I will give you the details when I come back. For now, I have to go. Bye. Please, I'm very sorry for lying to you. I know I wronged you, but I still love you very much. Please, don't leave me and don't do anything to hurt our baby. It's not that easy. I can't take you back just like that. What about your fiancé? Or do you want to marry both of us? I can't marry both of you. I'll have to choose one. And who do you choose? The mother of my child, of course. I don't believe you. I'll only take you back if you take me to your house tomorrow and introduce me to that fiancé as your wife-to-be. And she has to leave that house. After she has left, you will introduce me to your parents and I will take you to mine. Then we'll get married immediately because I don't have time to waste. These are my conditions. Is that all? That's all for now. I will do everything. It's okay. You can stand up. I forgive you partially. How did I get to this point? What did I do? Maka has been with me for years, right from when I was still in the village up to now. Can't just throw her away like that. But I can't abandon the mother of my child. Besides, I love her and I would love to marry her. I mean, a mess. Hello? My son! How are you doing? Mama, I'm not fine. You are not fine? What's the problem? Mama, I'm in a deep mess. My son, you are scaring me. Please tell me what is the problem. Mama, I just got a girl pregnant and I don't know what to do. Wait a minute. Did you just say that you got a girl pregnant? Yes, Mama. That's good news. That's what we have been praying for. Who is this girl? Hope she's a good girl and also from a good family. Mama, that's not the point. What about Amaka? What am I going to tell her? I cheated on her. I'm supposed to get married to Amaka. Listen to yourself. Can you just listen to yourself? That girl has been living with you for more than two years without being able to get pregnant. And you are still talking of marrying her. What if she gets married to her and she doesn't conceive? What will you do? Please. I don't want to hear any story. Just bring my wife home next week so I can get to know her. Then both of you will get married immediately. No need to waste any more time. Your father will be so happy to hear this. And what will happen to Amaka? Let her go back to her father's house. She's a very stupid girl. Ah, uh, Mama will you say that? What makes her stupid? I lost my respect for that girl the moment she decided to pack her things and go live with a man who has not paid her bride price. Who does that? But it's one who asked her to come stay with me. It's not actually she forced herself to live with me. If she's a wise and sensible girl, she won't agree. Is it not her mate that got married? They went to live with their husbands. She is a beautiful girl, but it's a pity that she doesn't know her worth. Please send her back and marry the girl that is carrying your child. That's the advice I will give you as your mother. Okay, I've heard you. I'll think about it. Bye. Okay, bye. I'll do what my mother says. I don't want to take chances. What if I marry Amaka and she's not able to conceive? What will I do? Besides, I'm in love with Cynthia now and she's carrying my child. I will marry her immediately. I don't want to waste time. As for Amaka, I'm sorry for her. I didn't mean for things to end this way. My love, who is this? You didn't tell me that we will be hosting a guest this evening. She's not a guest. She's my wife to be. You are playing a prank, right? I get the joke. It's a joke, right? 
It's not a joke. I'm serious. This young lady is carrying my child. Look, I'm deeply sorry. I didn't mean for things to end this way between us. I once loved you and I still like you very much, but we can't get married. Okay, since you have introduced me, I will take my leave now. I really don't want to be part of this disastrous breakup. You bastard! You're such an evil man! The most wicked beast on earth! How dare you! How dare you do this to me! After all these years of putting up with you! Stop it! I'm sorry. Our breaking up is not the end of the world. You will find a man you will love and cherish. I'm not just the one for you. You dare open that your filthy mouth and tell me that I will find another man. I don't want another man. Don't you get it? You are the only man I've loved all my life. I will always love. I can't love another man. The way I love you. I saw better and richer men, but I still stayed with you. I was faithful to you even when you started treating me badly. Don't do this to me. Please don't disgrace me like this. I'll do anything you want. Anything. Don't just leave me. I'm sorry. But I can't come back to you. I lied about my parents giving us their consent. They never did. I will never give us their consent. And besides, my parents have given their consent to me and Cynthia. We'll be getting married next week. Please, I'm begging you. Don't do this to me. You promised me. You promised me that you will marry me. Please. I'm sorry. But go get your things ready. Because we leave for the village tomorrow. I can't marry you. Can't you see it? It's not possible. You're unable to get pregnant, and now that someone else is carrying my child, I can't leave her for you. I just can't. You can't do this to me. You just can't. I can't go back to the village. I can't. There must be something we can work out. Please. Stop this, okay? Just stop it already. It's over between us. You leave for the village tomorrow, and that's it. Not be happening to me. This must be a very bad dream. I can't wait to wake up from this dream. How can Daniel be so heartless and wicked? How can he treat me in such manner after giving him my all? He chose to pay me back in this way. So Chidi has been right all along. So this is why she has always wanted me to leave Daniel. How come I never saw all of this? And to think that I turned away all the men who were seriously coming for my hand in marriage because of that jerk. Are you ready so I can drop you at work park? Are you sure you really want to do this to me? Do you really want to throw me away just like that? Don't you even have a little bit of love for me anymore? Look, I thought we've talked about this before. There is no going back to you. See, I don't have all the time. My wife to be will soon be here. And I don't want her to meet you here. Daniel. God will definitely punish you for all the pain and sorrow you've caused me. You will so in this life. <sighs> You lying bastard! Hey! Enough of this! Enough! I won't take it any longer. I will be in the car waiting for you. When you are ready, come and meet me there. Nonsense. I'm surprised to see you. Why didn't you tell me you are coming back today? I'm sorry for not calling you. It's just that I did not know that I'll be coming home today. It was unexpected. Okay, so what about Daniel? Are the both of you finally back to get married? No, it's over between Daniel and I. What? Why? I don't understand. Mama, I will explain everything to you later. I'm really tired. I need to rest. So that's how it all happened. Hmm. I always knew it that Daniel is up to no good with you. I tried my best to warn you and stop you, but you called me a fool and did exactly what you like. Now see the results. I'm very sorry, Mama. Please forgive me for not listening to you. I was blinded by love. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. You are my daughter. But can you ever forgive yourself? For doing this to your own very self. 
How can you pack your things and go live with a man who has not paid your bride price for more than two years straight? Serious men, we are coming for your hand in marriage. But out of your stupid blind love, you turned all of them away. Now you are back, right, from where you started from. I am so disappointed in you. Anyways, it is your choice. Now face the consequences. I can't believe that I am back to this village. I'm definitely the most stupid girl ever. My mom was right. I fell in love with Daniel. I gave him my whole heart and stupidly gave him my brain too. And also my eyes. Oh God. My advice to all young girls is that whenever you are in love with a man and you give him your heart, don't forget to take your brain with you because giving him your brain can be disastrous. Just take a look at me now. A homie, a maka. The beauty of this village brought to nothing all because of my stupidity. Now I'm a laughing stock in the village, an object of ridicule and gossip. I gave up everything, including myself, for a man who is not worth it. I even lost my best friend who was trying to help me. I allowed love to take away my senses. I threw away opportunities and now I'm back to square one. Ah! Experience is indeed the best teacher for a fool like me. <laughs>